You're watching High School Sports on the YDL Sports Network. Whether retirement is just around the corner or years away, John Bon Giovanni, Lucas Slazak, and Adam Jack of Generational Wealth Management in Erie and Bradford are here for you. John, a Forbes recognized best in state wealth advisor, Lucas and Adam provide customized investment advisory solutions and retirement planning services. Generational Wealth Management offers world class investment services and internationally recognized insurance products from Northwestern Mutual, an industry leader. The Generational Wealth Management team provides a high level of expertise and service to their professional and business clients. Contact the Erie office at 814. 814- 651-0838 or the Bradford office at 814-368-4065 or check them out online at gwm.nm.com. When it's your special day, we know you want everything to be just perfect. That's why at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, we spared no expense in creating our new indoor-outdoor wood frame event center with waterfalls, gorgeous views of the Allegheny River, a fire pit, and plenty of parking. The Allegheny Grill in Foxburg will take care of everything from catering to bartending, so all you have to do is bring the fun. We do it all for your wedding, anniversary party, corporate event, and so much more. One look at our new facility and we know you'll fall in love. And remember, the view is always free at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With convenient locations in Dubois, Ridgeway, St. Mary's, and Warren, you don't have to travel far to get your game-winning smile with Cole Orthodontic Associates. The orthodontists of Cole Orthodontic Associates have been crafting beautiful, healthy smiles in north-central Pennsylvania since 1960. Born and raised in the area, the doctors and staff at Cole Orthodontic Associates are committed to the people of this region. Visit colesmiles.net to schedule an appointment or consultation at the location nearest you today. All-American HQ in Chippenville is your gift headquarters no matter the occasion. All-American HQ always has the perfect gift for that loved one or friend. From engraved cutting boards and coffee mugs to personalized sports apparel, All-American HQ has you covered. At All-American HQ, they'll put almost anything on almost everything. AllAmericanHQ.com With locations in Chippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries, and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Actually, Fabrication and Powder Coating LLC is family owned and operated out of Franklin, PA. SFPC is actively seeking new talent and has openings at two plants located in Venango County. Those openings are either first, second, or third shifts at one or both locations. Check out the specific enrollment opportunities at www.specfab.com or send an email along with your resume to careers at specfab.com. SFPC is an equal opportunity employer. The top seeded Bulldogs want to get back to the top of the District 9 Mountain, but to do so, they'll have to knock off the reigning champion Gators. It's Red Bank Valley taking on Port Allegheny, the District 9 Class 1A football championship as Allegheny Grill of Foxburg presents high school football next on the YDL Sports Network. The Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, where you come for the food and stay for the view, come check out the new indoor-outdoor wood frame event center. The Allegheny Grill was recently voted the number one waterfront restaurant in Pennsylvania. Find out why at AlleghenyGrill.com. This is the Hunter Station Golf Club pregame show. Are you looking for that perfect Christmas gift for that golfer in your life? Then get them a membership at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside Tyanesta. Located along the scenic Allegheny River, the Hunter Station Golf Club is both challenging and fun. Find out more at HunterStation.com. You're on the drive to the game brought to you by Warren Tire Center. Warren Tire Center, make sure you get to the game in comfort. WarrenTireCenter.com. And tonight's game stream is powered by Oil Country Crates. Your products are protection. OilCountryCrates.com. Welcome back to the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth. Here at Frank Very Shetty Field in Brockway, Closest Lumber has been your home improvement headquarters in Olean, New York, and Rowlett, PA since 1973, closestlumber.com. Brian Hagberg, Kerry Hopper with you on the YDL Sports Network. And, uh, Kerry, we saw a week ago we were in Bradford as uh, Port Allegheny punched its ticket back to the District 9 championship game, a 29-10 win over Brockway. Meanwhile, in the other semifinal, Red Bank Valley, Despite not having both its first, second, and emergency quarterback uh, all over Countersport 46-13 in the semifinals, those two teams now meet here for the District 9 Championship. Yeah, I think uh, both teams didn't quite have the path back to the finals that they expected. Red Bank Valley, as you mentioned, was without their uh, you know without their starter uh, quarterback Braylon Wagner, senior wide receiver Mason Klaus. He stepped in and, and did an admirable job. Threw for 88 yards, five of eight passing, and a touchdown. They relied mostly on the run game, which is kind of a you know something new for for Red Bank. They've been very reliant on the pass this year. Junior Drew Byers, 125 yards, 16 carries, and a pair of touchdowns. 
as a team. They ran for 175 yards and three touchdowns, uh, one handily over uh, Countersport at, uh, at the field in Kane. Port Allegheny, the end result, 29 to 10. They're happy with that. But it wasn't, you know, the, the, the score doesn't tell the whole story. That game was a little closer than the Gators probably expected. Got two late touchdowns by Aiden Bliss to tack on, you know, some insurance, uh, you know, insur insurance scores there to make it 29 to 10. That game, Aiden Bliss was all over the scoring. 288 yards, 35 carries, four touchdowns. They only passed five times. Uh, Nick Wolfong was picked off twice. So I think, uh, you know, the Gators, you know, want to get the, the pass game going a little bit tonight. You know, we're looking out at the rain here on the field. We don't know if that's going to be a factor. So uh, it'll be an interesting matchup here. Well, and, and you mentioned the rain, and obviously, if you if you look at the at the lights in our shot there, you can see the rain is coming down. Uh, you know, looking at the radar, it looks like maybe we're going to be getting through the the worst of it. Hopefully, <laughs> tonight, right now, as it's uh, coming down about as heavy as it has. I got here about five thirty. Um, and it was, you know, just kind of misting a little bit, but uh, I mean, coming down kind of heavy now. And uh, I want, went and walked the field and it's coming down, but it's not that kind of rain that it's, you know, you're uncomfortable walking around in it. Um, but again, that, you know, with a passing team, especially, how much does that affect, you know, how you're able to grip the ball to throw and receivers catching the ball and things like that? And, and then just holding on to the ball in general, even if the, the rain slows down, you know, the turf's going to be wet. Uh, you know, those those guys, uh, those ball boys on the sidelines become absolutely critical here tonight. Absolutely. And I, I think that's the big question is, is you know, how much is it going to rain? How much is that going to play a factor in the pass game for Red Bank Valley? They showed last week that they're obviously talented enough that if they don't, pass the ball, that they have the talent to, to run the ball still. Port Allegheny, you know, is going to run the ball. They almost tell you, hey, we're going to run. They might even tell you, hey, we're going to run right, and they just dare you to come in and stop them. I think for Port Allegheny, they want to be able to put the ball in the air a little bit to mix it up and, and force Red Bank Valley to not pack the box. But uh, like I said, I think it's an interesting matchup. Uh, you know, district final, you know, Red Bank Valley got the, the better of, of the Gators in week eight, 57 to 13. You know, Long bus ride down to New Bethlehem. I think, you know, with Red Bank Valley starting fast, it was 22 nothing before, you know, Red, before Port Allegheny right. had a chance to, you know, put up much of a fight. And, and it was pretty much all over from there. So it'll be interesting. I think if Port Allegheny gets the ball first, scores first, I think that changes the whole, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the, the way the game goes. So we'll see. Well, you talk about that week eight matchup and, and Braylon Wagner threw, threw for almost 300 yards, five touchdowns. Uh, Red Bank Valley forced three Port Allegheny turnovers. But, you know, but that's the big question is, A, is Wagner going to be able to go tonight? He was out on the field in in full pads and uniform through warmups. Uh, I know uh, Coach Blaine Gold had said, indicated to us earlier that he'd be a true game time decision. So we'll see uh, as the game goes on. But also Jackson Huffman, the backup quarterback, was out in full pads going through the full warmups. So you would think at least one of them will be available, which really, you know, that kind of helps Red Bank Valley get into that passing offense with guys that they're comfortable doing it with. And the other thing, you know, you mentioned Mason Klaus went back, took the snaps at quarterback a week ago. The other issue they run into with him at quarterback is it takes him away from the receiving game where he's one of the top receivers in all of District 9. Right. You know, that's an admirable, you know, job that Mason Klaus did. I mean, people think that, oh, that, that's not that hard for a wide receiver to step in in a, in a district semifinal and play. No, that's that's a that's a very tall task. Mason Klaus, 51 catches, 907 yards, 16 TDs, only 93 yards shy of, of being the, the, the team's first 1,000 yards uh, receiver. You know, that's a, that's a big deal. And credit to him for stepping in, you know, doing whatever it takes to help his team. Um it remains to be seen here if Braylon Wagner is going to start the game. He's obviously, they're obviously a better team when he's on the field. He comes in with 2,541 yards, 39 touchdowns, but only three interceptions. So he, he takes care of the ball. You know, he's got three senior receivers, Ashton Kale, Mason Klaus, Ashton George. Um, being a Port Allegheny guy, I'm going to try to call balls and strikes right <laughs> down the middle. But on our broadcast, early in the year, I said, when, whenever those guys are ready to go off to college or move out of the house, whatever they, they're going to do after after high school, if they need somebody to help them move, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to see these guys move on because they've been they've obviously been talented and, uh, you know, they're a lot of fun to watch. So th this game is going to be uh, it, it's, it's just going to be a blast to watch this. All right. Well, how about I'll be the plate umpire and then we'll, we'll call it balls and strikes will be down the middle. You can take care of first base and, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe shade a close one here and there. How's that? That'll so, work. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, you know, but again, you talked about, you know, Mason Klaus is just a 93 yards away from being the school's first thousand yard receiver. And again, you look at the unselfishness for him to, to take a game away and say, Hey, I'm going to go back and play quarterback and know that I'm not going to get any receiving yards in this ball game, you know, barring a trick play or what have you in that instance. But it's, the, the unselfishness, the willingness to be, all right, we, we got to have somebody. We we can't reach our goals if we can't have somebody back there to to step in, take, take the snaps, and get us to where we need to be the next step in the journey. And, you know, obviously both of these teams, uh, you know, Red Bank Valley a couple of years ago, a, a state runner-up, uh, Port Allegheny, a state semifinalist a year ago, both of these teams have aspirations of getting back to those places and then some but you got to get through the district tournament first. And, and so again, that's that unselfishness of Mason Klaus to step in and say, I'll sacrifice my personal stats to help the team reach its goals. Yeah, absolutely. We can't say enough good things about Mason Klaus. And like you said, Red Bank Valley two years ago, you know, I remember watching that game on, uh, you know, what is it? PCN right. and Red Bank Valley had shots to, to mm-hmm. compete for that game. Like you mentioned, Port Allegheny last year made the final four. You know, this district is so talented. When Port Allegheny won the district last year and went on and played, I think it was Reynolds from District 10, it was, I think Reynolds truly would have been maybe the third best team in our district, if or maybe even the fourth best team. You know, Brockway was talented last year. Obviously, Red Bank Valley and Port Allegheny, but Port Allegheny beat them like 42 to 7. It was just very methodical, just, you know, so. Well, and I'll I'll say this, you know, for, for the most part, through the regular season, I'm, I'm a district 10 guy. That's, that's where I spend most of my time. And uh, you know, that Reynolds team that Port Allegheny played a year ago was immensely talented Had a fantastic running back in Jalen Wagner, who, uh, who's now wrestling collegiate. I mean, you know, and that's Reynolds obviously is a, a big wrestling school, you know, right. people that are familiar with Brookville wrestling in district nine, uh, the district 10 equivalent basically is Reynolds. Uh, but the, I mean, that was a very, very talented Reynolds team and, and Port Allegheny a year ago, just, Took it right to him. But with that, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more of the Hunter Station Golf Club pregame show. This is Allegheny Grill of Foxbury High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. For all your sandwich needs, stop in at the New Bethlehem Subway, located across the street from Red Bank Valley High School. The New Bethlehem Subway is open seven days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Stop in today to get your gift cards or order a sandwich or salad online through the app or in the store. The New Bethlehem Subway is a proud supporter of Red Bank Valley Athletics. Nothing goes better with watching sports than a great slice of pizza. And for over 25 years, we're better to get a slice in Port Allegheny than at Fox's Pizza Den. Like the Gators, Fox's Pizza works hard to serve you with a friendly staff and delicious food. Don't wait a second longer. Call now for pickup or home delivery at 814-642-2623. You can also order online at Fox's Pizza Port Allegheny.com. At Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny, we have a large in-house dining room and a banquet area on the second floor. Stop in and see us soon. Go Gators! Aaron and Merwin PC, Attorneys at Law, are two born and raised Clarion County attorneys with an office in Clarion, PA, serving the Tri-County area in criminal defense, DUI, family law, child custody, divorce, and wills and estates. Visit our website at aaronandmerwin.com and contact us at 814-229-5300. Just like your team builds upon its success, Close's Lumber Company, with locations in Olean, New York, and Rowlett, Pennsylvania, can help you build the home of your dreams. Close's Lumber, proudly celebrating its 50th anniversary, has everything you need to build and remodel your home, including building materials and supplies, lawn and garden accessories, and more. Stop into one of our locations to get some inspiration and work out the details of your next project. They also have an online showroom you can visit anytime at Close'sLumber.com. Close's Lumber, your hometown Home Improvement Center since 1973. Why should you choose Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Fairmont City? Why wouldn't you choose them? At Nolf, their sales are speedy and include upfront and straightforward pricing. If it's service and parts you're after, they have skilled technicians who are factory trained while offering knowledgeable parts experts. Maybe you need Nolf's full service body shop offering top quality collision repair to all makes and models of cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. Or do you want to cruise the highway in a clean, shiny vehicle thanks to Nolf's detailing service? No matter your needs, Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Fairmont City is there for you. Find out more at NolfChryslerDodge.com. 
Welcome back to the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth here at Frank Ferris Charity Field in Brockway. Brian Hagberg, Kerry Hover on the YDL Sports Network. It's Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School football getting set for the District 9 Class 1A Championship. Top seeded Red Bank Valley, number two seed Port Allegheny. Uh, Kerry, these two teams have, uh, between the two of them, have won the last three District 9 Class 1A titles. Uh, Red Bank Valley in 2020 and 2021. Port Allegheny, of course, a year ago in 2022. And this is the uh, fourth time in five years now that uh, that Red Bank Valley has been in the championship game looking for its third title. A week ago in Bradford, as you mentioned a little bit ago, Aiden Bliss had himself a day, 35 carries, 288 yards, four touchdowns. And really this Port Allegheny offense, you, you look at the the numbers that those running backs, uh, Bliss and Peyton Styles have, have put up on the ground this year, both over 1,000 yards, ton of touchdowns rushing. But it all starts with that big, nasty, mean offensive line, those five guys all back from a year ago, and they really power this uh, Port Allegheny rushing attack. You mentioned that you know last year Port Allegheny won the district title. The strength of that team, I mean, they, they had a good mix of pass and run, but the strength was their offensive line. You know, Last year they had Blaine Moses to run behind you know, that big offensive line. Like you mentioned, those same five guys coming back, uh, coming into the season, I don't think fans were quite sure what to expect. Peyton Styles played a good role last year, but he's really stepped in and been a phenomenal running back. Aiden Bliss coming through youth football, coming through junior high, you kind of knew he was going to be a player. You just weren't sure if he was going to be a, a big-time player this soon in his career. Um, they both stepped up. Uh, in, in the last game of the regular season, both of them went over 1,000 yards. Peyton Styles comes in with 1,181 yards. Aiden Bliss, as you mentioned, after the monster game he had last week, uh, comes in with 1,558 yards, which is unofficially a single-season uh, rushing record of Port Allegheny. So between the two of them, 2,739 yards, 42 touchdowns. That's incredible. Uh, absolutely incredible to have that potent uh, a ground attack. And, and and it's not like the, the Gators are methodical about it, right? I mean, they're still averaging over 40 points a game offensively. And so it's not just this, you know, wear them down, wear them down, which it effectively does. But as we saw a week ago, Aiden Bliss ripped off a 70-yard touchdown run. So they're able to be explosive with that ground attack as well. Yeah, between the two of those guys, Styles and Bliss, they're averaging over eight yards a carry. And like you mentioned, there, there's been some long runs on the season. Uh, last week after Bliss, it, it started to wear down Brockway's defense finally ripped off a 70 yard run and by that point he was he was almost out of gas as he was chugging <laughs> right. into the end zone. Well and you know again it's allowed Will Fong to come in and and ease into that quarterback position. Uh you know they don't ask him to do a ton has uh just 96 pass attempts for the season but it's turned that into 960 yards, 13 touchdowns, eight interceptions. You mentioned had a couple of picks last week. Um just wasn't really a, a strong passing game at all for, for the Port Allegheny offense. But again, they only attempted five passes because Aiden Bliss was just running all over the place. Yeah, Nick, you know, I've known Nick since he was in youth football as, as a second grader, and he's he's a talented kid. He just didn't seem to feel comfortable last week. You know, he had those five passes, only completed one, just a little swing pass to Aiden Bliss, uh, the two interceptions. I think Nick's going to be, I think he's going to be a different player this week versus last week. Um, it just it depends on with the weather and how much they, they put on his shoulders. I think the key are swing passes and, you know, slant routes with Tristan Kaiser, maybe some seam, seam plays right down the middle. So it'll be interesting to see how much they rely on him for, for passes. Well, we talked about, you know, the, the health of the, the Red Bank Valley, the quarterback room as a whole. And, and one of the ways that the Bulldogs can help that offense is to make Will Fong more uncomfortable in the pocket or maybe force Port Allegheny into some, you know, third and long and more, you know, traditional, obvious, quote unquote, obvious passing situations and not only force those situations, but then apply pressure and make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Yeah. You know, preparing for this game, I, you know, looked at the stats on max preps defensively, Red Bank Valley comes in with 19 interceptions as a team, nine fumble recoveries. So 28 takeaways, Ashton Kale leading the team with eight interceptions, Mason Klaus with five. That's a lot of interceptions in high school football. Those two are obviously talented uh, wide receivers you know, so defensively, they see a ball in the air and they're going to go get it. So um, it'll be interesting, like I said, to see how, how often Port Allegheny passes. And, you know, Port Allegheny's got to watch out for those two, you know, looking looking for to make a play. Now, the one thing that, that was kind of interesting to me, looking again at some of those defensive metrics, they don't have 
anybody who's got you know a, a ton of individual sacks on the year uh jackson huffman leads with just two and a half they're now they do have four other players with two each but again so it's not like there's constant pressure in the backfield like you do see on the opposite side when port allegheny's on the field defensively and uh you know miska and you so young combining now for 15 and a half sacks between the two of them uh braylon button adding three more so it's just different the way they they approach the defensive side where it seems you know red bank valley's a little more willing to sit back and try to force you into a mistake and take advantage in the secondary where port allegheny's philosophy is to just come at you and attack and let those young boys in the, the big defensive line disrupt and force the mistakes that way. Yeah, that's interesting that you noticed that too. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking at the stats, Red Bank Valley, 15 sacks as a team. And like you said, five guys with two or two and a half sacks. There isn't one guy that's got 10 sacks that it's like, oh man, you got to block that guy. But, but the thing that I wrote down and underlined was speed. When I went yeah. down to that game in, in New Bethlehem, you know, for the game between the Gators and Red Bank Valley, Red Bank Valley is fast. You know, their linebackers are fast. So, you know, that's the key. Port Allegheny has got to get a body on those linebackers and keep them, you know, open up some running lanes. As you see, uh, Port Allegheny taking the field now. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with our players to watch and keys to the game. It's the Allegheny Girl of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. With a beautiful selection and amazing customer service, a stitch in time custom embroidery has quality merchandise that can have almost anything made to fit your needs. Stop by at 44 North Main Street in Port Allegheny. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash a stitch in time custom embroidery or give us a call today at 814-642-1172. Are you suffering from back pain, headaches, sciatica? Did you know that a healthy nervous system leads to a healthy body? Find out more from Dr. Andrew Young at Port Allegheny Chiropractic and Olean Family Chiropractic. A District 9 lifer, born and raised in Clearfield and now calling Port Allegheny home, Dr. Young has over 20 years of experience. And Port Allegheny Chiropractic and Olean Family Chiropractic have a mission to provide their patients the best results in the shortest time, whatever their health goals are. Find out more at PortAlleghenyChiropractic.com and OleanChiropractic.com. Chiropractic care and good health go hand in hand. Carrie Hover, financial advisor of Cades Margolis, for all your retirement planning needs. Contact Carrie at 814-558-1699 or send him an email at khawver at the number 4 kmc.com. Moe's Bar and Grill in Port Allegheny. One of our customers called our offerings the best gourmet bar food you'll ever have. That pretty much sums us up. Stop in and see us at 68 West Mill Street, Port Allegheny, or give us a call at 814-642-7999. That's 814-642-7999. Moe's Bar and Grill. Located at 500 Broad Street, Red Bank Chevrolet is proud to be your new Bethlehem auto dealer, offering a wide variety of new cars and trucks, as well as certified used vehicles. We also welcome our Brookville, Pittsburgh, Catanning, and Oil City customers, and are committed to placing the keys of the right vehicle in your hands. What are you waiting for? Stop by and see us today, or give us a call at 814-275-2410. Welcome back to the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth, Frank Berry Shetty Field in Brockway, getting set for tonight's District 9 Class 1A football championship between Port Allegheny and Red Bank Valley. We're going to pause real quick as they play the national anthem played tonight by the Red Bank Valley Bulldog Marching Band. Thank you. 
Brian Hagberg, Kerry Hover with you on the YDL Sports Network. Again, it's Allegheny Grill at Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. Today's game is being brought to you in part by Allegheny Electric and St. Mary's. Allegheny Electric Service is St. Mary's, AlleghenyElectric.com. By Phoenix Centered Metals, Metals in Brockway, PhoenixCentered.com. By the Warren County Visitors Bureau, visit them online, WCVB.net slash events. And by Generational Wealth Management with offices in Erie and Bradford, insurance products from Northwestern Mutual, an industry leader, online, GWM.NM.com. And, Carrie, let's take a look now at our Dave Jones Allstate Insurance players to watch. You're in good hands with Allstate Insurance and the Dave Jones Agency in Clarion and Meadville. Players to watch. There, there was, a, you know, on both sides of the field, you know, Port Allegheny and Red Bank Valley, a lot of players to watch. But in particular, number nine, Braylon Wagner. All I have are question marks. Does he play? If he does play, how healthy is he? How effective is he going to be? Is there any rust? Um, if the rain picks up, does that affect their their pass game? So I think Braylon Wagner is obviously, you know, as soon as the game starts, we're going to see if he's even out there. So he's definitely the player to watch for Red Bank Valley. On the Port Allegheny side of things, I think it's number three, Peyton Styles. A lot of eyes are on Aiden Bliss, Red Bank Valley. They know that Aiden Bliss had 280 yards last week. But I think Peyton Styles is the X factor. That's what I'm calling him this week. Um, I think Red Bank's going to pack the box. And I think if, if the Gator coaching staff can sneak Peyton Styles out of the, the, uh, the backfield, maybe do some swing passes, some misdirection with him, I think he's the player to watch. All right, those are our Dave Jones All-State Insurance players to watch. Now let's take a look at our Rehab Center's keys to the game with eight locations to serve you, including in Clarion, Brookville, and Catanning. Visit them online, rehabcenters.com. That's center spelled the old English way with an R-E-S. Keys to the game for Red Bank Valley. You know, does this rain, it looks like the rain started to taper off. If it picks up, how does that affect the game? How does that affect the pass game in particular? Um, we know how talented Wagner is. Already talked about, you know, him being the player to watch. We know how, how talented Kale, Klaus, and George are. You know, those guys are going to make plays on offense or on defense. Um, but I think that's the key to the game is does the weather affect things? On the Port Allegheny side of things, I think if they – looks like they're going to receive the ball. Um, I think for Port Allegheny, they've got to start fast. They want to score on their opening drive, kind of flip the script on Red Bank. Um, like we've mentioned, they're a run-heavy offense. And I think if they can get off to, to the way – the starts that they want to have, I think that's, that's the key to the game. All right, those were our rehab center's keys to the game. And that will just about wrap up our Hunter Station Golf Club pregame show. If you're looking for that perfect Christmas gift for that golfer in your life, then get them a membership at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside Tyanesta. Located along the scenic Allegheny River, the Hunter Station Golf Club is both challenging and fun. Find out more at HunterStation.com. Tonight's game also being brought to you in part by Moe's Bar and Grill in Port Allegheny, Aaron and Merwin PC, Attorneys at Law and Clarion, Subway in New Bethlehem, and Kerry Hover, Financial Advisor, Katie's Margolis. Thank all of our sponsors tonight for helping us bring you tonight's game. Our first quarter tonight brought to you by Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny. There's no better way to watch the game than with a great slice from Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny. You can eat it there, pick it up, or have it delivered. Order online now at Fox's Pizza Port Allegheny.com. This is a Bruno Irofito Wrestling Camp opening kickoff. And that kick's going to roll down the field. Taken by Bliss. Bliss getting to the sideline, running over a man and getting out near the 35, maybe the 36-yard line. Yeah, nice run back there by Aiden Bliss. We saw last week in Bradford against Brockway that Aiden Bliss had a, had a very long kick return, which, which you know, that obviously sets Port Allegheny up where they want to start. So the Gators will take over at their own 37. And Gators now getting the, the play in, checking over the defense. And direct snap to Bliss. He'll go forward for about three yards. So for fans that haven't seen Port Allegheny play at all this year, you probably noticed two big dogs in, in the backfield there, Miski Young, Carson Neely, uh, you know, Aiden Bliss running the Wildcat. You're going to see a lot, you know, a lot of this formation. They call it the stampede formation. So we'll see if they stick with that, or if they go back to the normal set with uh, Nick Wolfong running the show. And so it looks like Neely's going to go over to the other side. 
at least for now, as the play comes in. Styles split out to the far side. Tristan Kaiser near side. And Bliss has a little trouble with the snap, but corrals it in, and then it's hit, and he's going to be stopped for a loss. And that was Owen Klaus on the stop for Red Bank Valley. One of those three, he's the emergency quarterback, as we were told a week ago. Uh, good to see him back out there and playing. And so loss of a yard there makes it third down and eight from the Port Allegheny 39 opening possession of the Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny first quarter. And that was a Larson's garbage service loss of yards there. Is Bliss going to take this one? And he's going to get hit and drop for a loss again. Now maybe he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But uh, gang tackling there by Red Bank Valley will bring up a fourth down. And a Bruno Iorfito wrestling camp punt. Those last two plays, you saw the speed of Red Bank Valley's defense. You know, they know that Port Allegheny is going to run the ball, and Red Bank Valley was just, you know, flying to the ball. And back to receive number zero, Ashton Kale, number 12, Mason Klaus. And if I'm Port Allegheny, you know, I just punt it out of bounds here and take, you know, take 20, 30 yards. I don't want to put it in Red Bank Valley's hands to, to make a play. Yeah, we've got our first showcase Holmes penalty of the ball game. And it is a false start against Port Allegheny. When building a new home, you'll never be penalized when you use Showcase Homes. Showcase Homes is your experienced new home builder in Western PA. Showcase Homes brings your dream to life. Visit them online at visitshowcasehomes.com. Again, this is a Bruno Iorfito Wrestling Camp punt. The Bruno Iorfito Wrestling Camp in Port Allegheny is the best wrestling camp you've never heard of. The 2024 camp is being held June 17 to 21. Check out more at teambruno.org. And they do get the kick away. And fair catch is called for and made at the 32. And it's like we may have lost a connection came loose there on our uh, camera feed. Let's see if we can get that back for you real quick. And there it goes. Apologize for that. Our cameraman is uh, up top, and I think he's just got a loose connection up there, but getting that uh, underway. And a little, little pitch pass there to Kale. And, and that was Jackson Huffman taking the snap. And give Kale six on that. Kale six be second and four. Starting again for the Bulldogs. And Huffman going to keep it himself, makes a move, and an extra effort may have gotten him enough for the first down. And the far side official says it is with that spot. So that's Huffman running the show there? Uh, number 16, Jackson Huffman, yes, is the, taking the snaps at quarterback right now. And he does have enough for a tie nested builder supply first down. And to give this time to Drew Byers. And he's got another big gain across midfield into Port Allegheny territory. So Red Bank Valley keeping it on the ground there. You see the, you see the obvious speed of Drew Byers. Um, that's that's one of the strengths that they have that they haven't had to rely on as much, you know, being able to throw the ball so effectively all year. Huffman in the gun has Byers a sidecar to his left. And Ball is on the ground. Fight for the ball, and it looks like Byers was able to fall on it. Fortunate there for Red Bank Valley that they were able to uh, fall on that football. Uh, but it, it, the linemen were the first ones to see that it was on the ground. Yeah, it was kind of a weird play. I'm, I'm watching Braylon Button here for the Gators, and he just kind of stopped. And then it was like, wait a minute, there's a, there's a ball here on the ground. So, um, you know, fortunate for the Gators. This is going to be third and long. We'll see if Red Bank Valley goes back to the air here. That was a Larson's Garbage Service 15-yard loss. You might want to consider throwing that play away. If they do, Larson's Garbage Service will be here to haul away. Larson'sGarbageService.com. Off and back to pass. Has time, and it's through the hands, and it picked off. No, they say it's incomplete. The, the official on the near side is saying incomplete. The official on the far side said it's intercepted. 
And then the call is they're going to call that an incomplete pass. So I was going to mention on that play, Tristan Kaiser blitzed from his linebacker spot. He doesn't show up, you know, statistically with a ton of sacks, but when he when they when the Gators blitz him, he creates havoc and it frees up the defensive lineman to make a play and it put a little pressure on Huffman to get rid of it. And uh, you know, fortunate for Red Bank Valley, that fell incomplete. In bliss back to receive this Bruno Iorfito wrestling camp punt. High snap. And Klaus is just going to run. He's got all kinds of space. Can he get there? No. Gutsy call there by Red Bank Valley. Not even midway through the first quarter and right around midfield. But Klaus almost picked it up. Yeah, credit to Red Bank Valley for being aggressive there. You know, Sean Payton in the NFL, he's known for, uh, you know, onside kicks and, and maybe going for it on fourth and fourth and short when you don't expect it. And, uh, you know, hey, Red Bank Valley is being aggressive. That's an SFPC Prime Fitness USA change of possession, especially fabrication and powder coating. Prime Fitness USA are both companies that are family owned and operated out of Franklin. SFPC is actively seeking new talent, has openings at its two plants in Venango County. Find out more at sfpc.com slash careers. So second possession now, Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny, first quarter for the Gators. They start right near midfield. And this time the snap goes to Wilfong, and he's going to – or excuse me, that was Styles. He's a three, not eight. Apologize for that. Styles on the carry. Yeah, so Styles gets his opportunity to run the show here, uh, running behind that big offensive line with Aiden Bliss as a sidecar. So he'll, he'll hand it off occasionally to him or keep it himself. And we've got an official's timeout here as I think there was an equipment issue. And they're going to reset the play clock. So looks like they're trotting their normal set back on. Wilfong comes back out. The extra linemen go back go back off. Veyu and Kaiser split near side. Jared Funk up top. Styles deep back, Bliss in front of him, Wilfong under center. Give it to Styles. He's got a big hole, shakes a tackle, then loses the football. And it's still a fight for it. Port Allegheny had it initially, and it is the Gators recovering. So nice run there by Peyton Styles. Very fortunate for the Gators to come up with a fumble recovery, but that was an opportunity for Red Bank Valley to, you know, to pounce on that. But uh, you no know, good run by the Gators. And that is a tie nest to Builder Supply first down for Port Allegheny. Tie nest to Builder Supply has locations at Chippenville at tie nest and online at tie nest dot us. As we approach the midpoint of the Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny first quarter. I'll try to stay out of your <laughs> viewpoint here, Brian, as I try to peek my head around here to get a view. Will Fong turns, gives to Styles, and this time he's hit. And he's tackled forward for a short game. Uh, number 51, Brandon Ross on the stop, and uh, he's coming up gimpy a little bit. So it look like, looks like Red Bank Valley has a five-man front. No safety. It looks like they're walking the safety up. And keep it. we'll keep an eye on Ross. He's second-leading tackler for the Bulldogs. Wilfong now in the gun. Give to Styles. Styles trying to turn the corner. He's not going to get there. Good open field tackle there by Mason Klaus, number 12. Yeah, great tackle by Klaus. Looked like Styles might have the corner there, but only a you know a couple-yard gain. And that'll bring up a Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning third down. When you get backed up on third and long, call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. to get you moving again, lutonsplumbing.com. So it looks like Red Bank Valley's given a lot of a lot of room there for the receivers. So they're you know almost daring Port Allegheny to pass here. Ball on the Red Bank Valley 30. Would imagine any kind of positive game here is going to be a four down territory for the Gators. And... Bulldogs in the backfield immediately. And that was, a, again, uh, Ross 
shot through the gap to disrupt that play for a gain of maybe a yard. Yeah, Styles with a yard or two there. It, you know, if that play would have been designed to the outside, looks like maybe he had an opportunity to get around the edge there. But. And we've got a uh, Red Bank Valley player is down right around the uh, 25. Looks like that's uh, Owen Klaus. And while they tend to him, we will step aside. This is Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. Located at 500 Broad Street, Red Bank Chevrolet is proud to be your new Bethlehem auto dealer, offering a wide variety of new cars and trucks, as well as certified used vehicles. We also welcome our Brookville, Pittsburgh, Catanning, and Oil City customers, and are committed to placing the keys of the right vehicle in your hands. What are you waiting for? Stop by and see us today, or give us a call at 814-275-2410. So fourth down and seven coming up for the Gators as uh, Owen Klaus helped to the sideline for the Bulldogs. As we approach the four-minute mark of the Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny first quarter, toss to Styles Has some blockers in front, but he is going to be stopped short. And another SFPC Prime Fitness USA change of possession. This time the Bulldogs come up with the fourth down stop. Last time Port Allegheny played on this field against Brockway, uh, Peyton Styles had a lot of you know yards after contact. Red Bank Valley is you know they're sure tackle tacklers tonight. You know when they're they come to you know come up and make a play, they're they're bringing the, the ball carrier down. And there is a timeout on the field. We'll take it with them. Allegheny Girl of Foxburg High School football on the YDL Sports Network. For all your sandwich needs, stop in at the New Bethlehem Subway, located across the street from Red Bank Valley High School. The New Bethlehem Subway is open seven days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Stop in today to get your gift cards or order a sandwich or salad online through the app or in the store. The New Bethlehem Subway is a proud supporter of Red Bank Valley Athletics. Nothing goes better with watching sports than a great slice of pizza. And for over 25 years, we're better to get a slice in Port Allegheny than at Fox's Pizza Den. Like the Gators, Fox's Pizza works hard to serve you with a friendly staff and delicious food. Don't wait a second longer. Call now for pickup or home delivery at 814-642-2623. You can also order online at Fox's Pizza Port Allegheny.com. At Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny, we have a large in-house dining room and a banquet area on the second floor. Stop in and see us soon. Go Gators! Aaron. And we are back here at Frank Verichetti Field in Brockway. First down for Red Bank Valley at its own 25 after a fourth down stop. And now this looks like maybe we've got a change at quarterback. Trying to check the number. That does not. Well, that, that, well, that, was, that was Hoffman, 16. Looked like a different number from uh, our vantage point. Apologize for that. And that is a uh, time to builder supply first down on the first down carry for Hoffman. And Huffman gives to Byers, wiggles his way through the line before being stopped at the 40 and her three yard pickup. Red Bank that, Valley keeping it on the ground here. Sorry, Brian. Yep. Um, you know, four-man front for the Gators. Looks like, you know, occasionally they're cheating. Uh, Tristan Kaiser up here, so we'll see if the Gator uh, defensive coaching staff changes things up a little bit to try to shut down the run. You so young on the stop there for Port Allegheny. Second and seven. Huffman back to throw. Under pressure, and he's going to get hit and sacked. Guess who? Miska Young for the Gators. Yeah, Miska Young, as you mentioned earlier, 11 sacks coming into the game. That's his 12th sack of the game, almost a sack per game. Um, you know, Red Bank Valley definitely has to account for him. He's a menace on the defensive line. And loss of 13 there. That's a Larson's Garbage Service loss of yards. And makes it third down and 23 for Red Bank Valley. They send a man in motion, a little pitch pass to him. And that is Kale weaving his way through traffic, and he's going to be close to the first down. And Red Bank Valley may think about going for this one here. Going to be fourth in a yard. Yeah, Ashton Kale shows you there how athletic he is. I don't know how many times he cut there, three, four times, and made, made tacklers miss, bring up a fourth and short. And uh, 
Bulldog offense is going to stay on the field. They ran a fake last time on fourth down. Owen Klaus nearly picked it up. Trips right. Huffman tried the hard count. Mason Klaus, a single receiver near side, and now Huffman going to go under center, and they're going to try the sneak, and Port Allegheny stuffs it. And the Gators with their second fourth down stop, and it's another SFPC Prime USA Prime Fitness USA change of possession. I like seeing some big time defense in this first quarter. I love the aggressiveness by Red Bank Valley. You know, Port Allegheny defensive line comes up and makes a play there. Puts them in good field position. We'll see if their offense can do something with the ball. You saw Red Bank Valley tried to uh, kind of quick change that from a, a shotgun snap to Huffman under center, and the Gator defensive line made a stand. Now Port Allegheny has the ball first and 10 at the Red Bank Valley 46. And Wilfong gives to Styles, and Styles is hit in the backfield by Kale. And here you see again the speed of Ashton Kale. It's another Larson's, Larson's garbage service loss of yards. Loss of three this time for Port Allegheny. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, Red Bank Valley are just sure tacklers tonight. So, you know, we'll see if Port Allegheny's running backs can, can sneak out of some of these these uh, attempts at tackles and see if they can, you know, make make a difference here. And we've seen the ball on the on the turf a couple of times already as the, the rain that was coming down pretty heavy through our pregame has slowed significantly. But again, you know, turf is still wet. And, you know, so once those balls start getting wet, the towels start getting wet, uh, can make them a little slippery. And that may end up being the difference. Direct snap this time. And that is Styles, and Styles is going to go 49 yards for the Port Allegheny touchdown. Yeah, great run there by Pete Styles. A little misdirection. Thought it was going left, coming back right. And Styles with the big play. We talked about it. This is this is definitely a ground and pound offense, but they can break off the explosive plays. And Peyton Styles had one there, forty nine yards to pay dirt. Yeah, and Peyton Styles was my player to watch. I, you know, like I said, I think he's the X factor tonight. You know, obviously you got to account for Aiden Bliss, but I think Peyton Styles is going to have a big day today. And Jared Funk will come on to attempt the extra point. Wolfong to hold. And that kick is up and good. So officially a minute 30 to go here at Frank Verichetti Field in Brockway. Your score, Port Allegheny 7, Red Bank Valley. Nothing. We'll be back with more Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School football on the YDL Sports Network. Are you suffering from back pain, headaches, sciatica? Did you know that a healthy nervous system leads... Aaron and Merwin PC, attorneys at law, are two born and raised Clarion County attorneys with an office in Clarion, PA, serving the Tri-County area in criminal defense, DUI, family law, child custody, divorce, and wills and estates. Visit our website at aaronandmerwin.com and contact us at 814-229-5300. Zero, zero. And welcome back to the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth here. Frank Barrichetti Field in Brockway. Brian Hagrick, Kerry Hover with you on the YDL Sports Network. A Peyton Styles 49-yard touchdown run has put Port Allegheny in front 7 to nothing over Red Bank Valley District 9 Class 1A Championship. 90 seconds to play. Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny first quarter as Funk getting set to kick. And that kick is taken by number 10, Caden Nicewanger, out to about the 25. And that's where the Bulldogs will start. Yeah, special teams could be a big factor in this game. When Port Allegheny and Red Bank Valley played earlier in the season, there was a punt return that, that Red Bank Valley took, you know, took to the house and really, really swung the momentum you know, further in Red Bank's favor. So we'll see if special teams plays a big factor in this game. First and 10 for the Bulldogs, their own 25. And again, it is Jackson Hoffman taking the snaps for Red Bank Valley. And he gives to Byers. Byers had to reverse field, was hitting the backfield. 
And Port Allegheny thinks they've got a fumble recovery, but uh, it is second down. Miski Young in on the stop for Port Allegheny again. I keep mentioning Tristan Kaiser. They keep cheating him up, and, and like I said, his his name might not still show up on the defensive stat sheet a lot, but he just creates havoc when he gets in there. Well, an interesting matchup to watch here. Mason Klaus and Kellen Bayou here on the near side, one-on-one. Fake, and they're going to try for Klaus. Klaus has a step, but it's misfired there by Huffman. Good coverage there by uh, Bayou on the – on the play, but uh, Klaus late in that route got a step, and if uh, Huffman had been able to lead him just right, uh, he might have gone. Yeah, Huffman, you know, put the ball in the neighborhood. That's a tough assignment. That's a, a senior wide receiver going against a freshman uh, cornerback, so that'll be something to watch as we keep playing here. Luton's plumbing, heating, air conditioning, third down for the Bulldogs. And Huffman rolling, throwing, and it is caught far sideline. And out across the 40 for the Ty Nesta Builder Supply first down. I believe that was Ashton Kale again. Had himself a solid ball game here in the first quarter. Yeah, good play by Huffman. Rolls right to get himself out of the pocket. I thought maybe Miska Young would, would get his hands on him, but he made a nice play. It is a Ty Nesta Builder Supply first down for Red Bank Valley at its own 43. And they... Send a man in motion. Huffman fakes it to him and keeps it himself. But uh, Tristan Kaiser doesn't allow him to get very much there. We'll see if Red Bank wants to run it out of the play before the end of the first quarter. No, I see that Red Bank Valley coaches are calling him to the sideline. So we will go to the end of the Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny first quarter. Your score, Port Allegheny 7, Red Bank Valley nothing. We'll be back with second quarter action. District 9, Class 1A Championship. Allegheny Girl of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. Are you suffering from back pain, headaches, sciatica? Did you know that a healthy nervous system leads to a healthy body? Find out more from Dr. Andrew Young at Port Allegheny Chiropractic and Olean Family Chiropractic. A District 9 lifer. Born and raised in Clearfield and now calling Port Allegheny home, Dr. Young has over 20 years of experience. And Port Allegheny Chiropractic and Olean Family Chiropractic have a mission to provide their patients the best results in the shortest time, whatever their health goals are. Find out more at PortAlleghenyChiropractic.com and OleanChiropractic.com. Chiropractic care and good health go hand in hand. With a beautiful selection and amazing customer service, A Stitch in Time Custom Embroidery has quality merchandise that can have almost anything made to fit your needs. Stop by at 44 North Main Street in Port Allegheny, like us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash A Stitch in Time Custom Embroidery, or give us a call today at 814-642-1172. Uh, Red Bank Valley has its second down and 10 to start the Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep second quarter. No matter your needs, North Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Fairmont City is there for you. Find out more at chryslerdodge.com. And Huffman looking to throw. And Klaus caught it but was down immediately, so that'll bring up a third and long. We understand there's, a, again, a connection issue. Our cameraman is, uh, is up top and working on getting that connection. There we go. Uh, again, apologize for that. So it'll be a Luton's Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning third down and long third and 16 for the Bulldogs, trailing seven to nothing to Port Allegheny, District 9, Class 1A Championship. Huffman to throw. He's got time. He's got a man. It's Kale, and Kale makes the catch. What a catch by Ashton Kale in tough coverage. And there's a big play by Red Bank Valley. Yeah, I was just about to say before that play, if I'm Red Bank Valley and I see single coverage there, I, you know, I take a shot. I think that's a tough assignment for anybody. And that is a Ty Nesta Builder Supply first down, a big one for Red Bank Valley. They're now in the Pizza Hut red zone. Still time for you to order a fresh hot pizza today online at PizzaHut.com, where no one out pizzas the hut. At the 15, give us to Byers. Byers hit just as he got to the line of scrimmage, so no gain there. It'll be second down and 10. Yeah, it looked like he had an opening there, but it closed up quickly by the Gator defensive line. And second and 10 now from the 15 as the rain has picked up again a bit here in Brockway. 
Bulldogs trying to knock things up. Fake to Byers. Huffman throws corner for Kale, but out of his reach. And that'll make it third and ten. Yeah, I think when in doubt, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the fade play, but I think in this scenario, I think that's that's a good option for Red Bank Valley. Oh, and especially the way uh, Ashton Kale's played so far here tonight. Want to let you know tonight's game also being brought to you in part by Allegheny Electric and St. Mary's. Allegheny Electric Services St. Mary's has been providing industrial and commercial electric solutions for over 35 years. Find out more at AlleghenyElectric.com. Huffman rolling, now stops, fires across the field. Mason Klaus caught for the Red Bank Valley touchdown. Yeah, nice pass there by Huffman, you know, turning around and throwing it back the other way. Shifted the uh, defense to the right, came back and threw left and found Klaus streaking across the middle of the end zone. Touchdown number 17 on the season for Klaus. And Owen Klaus, who is their typical kicker, was injured earlier. So now Huffman in. Two-point conversion. Has time. Fires. And it's broken up in the end zone. And there's a flag down in the middle of the field. So let's see what this showcase homes penalty is. If the Bulldogs will get another shot at it. They have a chop block against Red Bank Valley. And a personal foul against Port Allegheny with targeting. And we will, those penalties offset will replay the try. So a lot happening on that play. You know, <laughs> All kinds of stuff going on there. This is a big decision because, you know, this game might come down to a point or yeah. two. So if, if Red Bank Well, like, can... like we said, though, Owen Klaus is their kicker, and, and he came off injured uh, in the middle of the first quarter. So now. Bulldogs are going to try it. It looks like they're going to try the same play. Oh, and that's going to be uh, knocked down. Uh, I think uh, Port Allegheny might have got away with a uh, horse collar tackle there by Carson Neely on Huffman. But regardless, the try is no good. So with 10.22 to go in the North Chrysler Dodge second quarter, Port Allegheny 7, Red Bank Valley 6. We'll be back more. Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. Why should you choose Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Fairmont City? Why wouldn't you choose them? At Nolf, their sales are speedy and include upfront and straightforward pricing. If it's service and parts you're after, they have skilled technicians who are factory trained while offering knowledgeable parts experts. Maybe you need Nolf's full service body shop offering top quality collision repair to all makes and models of cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. Or do you want to cruise the highway in a clean, shiny vehicle thanks to Nolf's detailing service? No matter your needs, Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Fairmont City is there for you. Find out more at NolfChryslerDodge.com. And we are back here. A 15-yard touchdown pass from Jackson Huffman to Mason Klaus. Gets Red Bank Valley on the board. Owen oh, Klaus did kick that off. That's a Bruno Iorfito Wrestling Camp kickoff taken by Peyton Styles, and not much doing there. But interesting that they had Klaus come in for the kickoff but not to attempt the extra point. Yeah, that is interesting. And, and like we were talking, you know, th this game could come down to a point or two here or there. So, you know, two-point conversions are going to play a big factor in this game. 7-6, Port Allegheny leads it 10-15 to play. Nolf Chrysler Dodge second quarter from Frank Verichetti Field in Brockway, District 9, Class 1A Championship. Brian Hagberg, Kerry Hopper with you on the YDL Sports Network. Uh, first to 10 for the Gators from their own 18. And again, the rain has started to come down a little heavier. And that one's going to be taken by Styles. Styles gets the corner. And we got a flag at the end of that play. Right now, it's a tie us a builder supply first down. So nice run there by Styles, but looks like they're going to call a holding over here on the wide receiver. There's a showcase homes penalty coming up. Appears again as though it's going to be against Port Allegheny. And that will be a spot foul. 
replay and they will down. replay first down. But all told, that's actually a pretty positive gain there for uh, Port Allegheny. As now it's going to be first down and three from the twenty-five. Yeah, that's really not too big, bad of a scenario for Port Allegheny. So they gained seven yards and get to replay first down. Though they did lose some yardage there, obviously, on the Showcase Holmes penalty. And Styles fakes, keeps it himself, has a huge hole, cuts back inside, and he will have enough for the tight end to build her supply first down out across the 35 to the 37. Yeah, nice run there by Peyton Styles, kind of weaving his way through. Tristan Kaiser, as he was blocking his, his guy, kind of threw his hands up to make sure he didn't get a, a holding call there. Uh, first and 10 Gators. We'll see if they keep it on the ground here. We haven't seen one in the air by the Gators, have we? I don't believe so, no. Tonight's game also being brought to you in part by Moe's Bar and Grill in Port Allegheny, Aaron and Merwin, PC Attorneys at Law and Clarion, Subway in New Bethlehem, and Kerry Hover, Financial Advi Advisor, Katie's Markles. I want to thank all of our sponsors tonight for helping us bring you this District 9 Class 1A championship game. And this time the give is to Bliss, and Bliss fights through a tackle. Aiden Bliss down the sideline, cuts back inside, and he gets close to the 20. Big run by Aiden Bliss. Yeah, big run by Aiden Bliss. You know, it hasn't really been a huge factor up to this point, but uh, you knew eventually he was going to get his opportunity. And he gets all the way down to the Red Bank Valley 21. 42-yard gain there for Bliss. And the Gators are knocking on the door of the Pizza Hut red zone. And Styles going to keep it himself, takes it right up the gut, runs through a tackle. Tough running there by Peyton Styles. Nice run by Peyton Styles. This this is such an unusual um, offense by Port Allegheny. It's almost like the old single wing offense where it was just it was all runs. I mean, you know Port Allegheny is going to run. You know, do you pack the box even more? So it'll be second down and four now after the six yard carry. Again, that run by Bliss was an All American Awards and Engraving big play. You can celebrate your big play with apparel or an award from All American Awards and Engraving at Chippenville All American HQ .com. Styles going to keep trying the left side, and this time there's nowhere to go. Host of Bulldogs in the backfield. That'll be a Larson's Garbage Service loss of yards. And they might want to consider throwing that play away if they do. Larson's Garbage Service will be here to haul it away. Larson's Garbage Service.com makes it third down and five. We just see the, the speed and athleticism of Red Bank Valley's defense. They're just flying to the ball there. Under seven and a half to play. Nolf Chrysler Dodge second quarter. And Styles going to keep it himself and ran into some traffic. Was fortunate to uh, fall forward there. Looks like he gained about two, but it will bring up a fourth down. I don't know if that was an option play where Styles had the option to give to Bliss, but it looks like looked like maybe if, if that was the option, that would have been a good, good play to give it to him there. Fourth down and four. And in the first quarter, Kerry, we saw both teams defensively come up with some big fourth down stops. Trailing by a point, Red Bank Valley could use another one here. Gators looking to keep this drive alive. And they tried to get Red Bank Valley with the hard count. And now looks like Justin Biankowski is going to take a Fran Morelli sales and service timeout. The next time your vehicle takes a timeout, Fran Morelli sales and service at Brockway can get you moving again. FranMorelli.com. We'll take a quick timeout with them. Allegheny Girl of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. Aaron and Merwin PC, attorneys at law, are two born and raised Clarion County attorneys with an office in Clarion, PA, serving the Tri-County area in criminal defense, DUI, family law, child custody, divorce, and wills and estates. Visit our website at AaronAndMerwin.com and contact us at 814-229-5300.
for $209. Welcome back to the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth. Frank Ferris, Shetty Field in Brockway. Brian Hagberg, Kerry Hover with you for Allegheny Girl at Foxburg High School Football in the YDL Sports at Network. Port Allegheny has a fourth down and four at the Red Bank Valley 15. Gators lead the Bulldogs 7-6 to six, District 9 Class 1A Championship. And it's a keeper and not going to get there is Peyton Styles, And so another big fourth down stop for the Bulldogs. It's an SFPC Prime Fitness USA change of possession. Specialty fabrication and powder coating of Prime Fitness USA are both companies that are family owned and operated out of Franklin. SFPC is actively seeking new talent and has openings at its two plants in Venango County. Find out more sfpc.com slash careers. Port Allegheny sticks with the run there. I thought maybe that was going to be the opportunity for the first pass of the game for them, but uh, Red Bank Valley makes a nice stop. So Bulldogs take over first and 10 at their own 15. Huffman gives to Byers. Byers breaks through, gets to the second level, and a gain of looks like about six. It looked like he was going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage, and then Somehow, all of a sudden, he uh, squirted through and broke into the uh, second level there for a big game. Yeah, Drew Byers is a shifty running back, showing his athleticism there. Sism there. Good play on first down. Second and three, and we've got a Showcase Holmes penalty coming up here. Not sure if that was just an errant snap or what happened, but the the ball just kind of trickled back. <laughs> And that is a false start against Red Bank Valley. When building a new home, you'll never be penalized when you use Showcase Homes. Showcase Homes is your experienced new home builder in Western PA. Showcase Homes brings your dreams to life. Visit them online at visitshowcasedhomes.com. And Huffman looking to throw. Fires back across his body. Looking for Klaus. Went up. Good effort there, but incomplete. Will Fong on the coverage. Nice athleticism there by the wide receiver. Nick Wilfong just kind of does a volleyball spike and spikes it out of there. Incomplete pass makes it third down and eight. It's a Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning third down. When you get backed up on third and long, Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning can get you moving again. This is online, lutonsplumbing.com. So it looks like Red Bank Valley is going to that, you know, one-on-one -on -one matchup when they have the single coverage, doing the jump ball plays. And Huffman rolling left. He's under pressure, and he's going to get taken down right in front of the goal line. I believe that was Miska Young again. Yeah, Miska Young is very familiar with quarterbacks. That's his, what, 13th sack on the game? That's going to be big, putting them back, you know, for, one or for two For the season, line. yeah. For the season. Sorry, not the game. <laughs> That'd be a heck of a game. But. Yeah. And that is a Larson's garbage service loss of yards. And make it fourth and 21. Renback Valley going to have to punt. And Owen Klaus right at the edge of the back of the end zone there. Aiden Bliss back to receive for Port Allegheny. And low kick. And Bliss going to field it at the 40. Shakes a tackle. Spins away from another. Ducks under another. And then is finally brought down at the 34-yard line. And that was a Bruno Iarpito wrestling camp punt by Owen Klaus. Bruno Iarfito Wrestling Camp in Port Allegheny is the best wrestling camp you've never heard of. The 2024 camp is being held June 17 to 21. Find out more at teambruno.org. We'll be right back. It's Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. For all your sandwich needs, stop in at the New Bethlehem Subway, located across the street from Red Bank Valley High School. The New Bethlehem Subway is open seven days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Stop in today to get your gift cards or order a sandwich or salad online through the app or in the store. The New Bethlehem Subway is a proud supporter of Red Bank Valley Athletics. Moe's Bar and Grill in Port Allegheny. One of our customers called our offerings the best gourmet bar food you'll ever have. That pretty much sums us up. Stop in and see us at 68 West Mill Street, Port Allegheny, or give us a call at 814-642-7999. That's 814-642-7999. Moe's Bar and Grill. Welcome back to the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth. Frank Barrichetti Field in Brockway. Red Bank Valley with a 
or excuse me, Port Allegheny with the first and 10 from the Red Bank Valley, 34. Gators lead by one, seven to six. District 9, Class 1A Championship. Styles going to keep himself. Picks up some blockers down the, st- down the sideline. Peyton Styles, and he's inside the 15, close to the 10. Now they're going to mark him down at the 8. And the Gators are in the Pizza Hut red zone. And that is another All-American Awards and engraving big play for Peyton Styles. Great run by Peyton Styles. Looked like that play was going right. Coming back to the left, Miska Young lead blocking. Uh, great play by the Gators, and that sets them up in great field position, first and goal. And it's INS or Builder Supply, first down for the Gators. And at the Red Bank Valley, eight. And again, it's going to be Styles taking the snap. Fakes to Bliss, keeps it himself. And not much there for Styles, maybe gains a yard. We make it second and goal. And we saw the Gators got down not quite this close, but uh, in, deep into Red Bank Valley territory on their last possession. Bulldogs came up with a big fourth down stop. Can the Gators punch it in this time? Obviously, four down territory. We'll see if the Gators go to the air at some point or if they just continue with, with the strength of their team, which is the run game. Well, and you talked about that uh, that stampede for Nate formation with Young and Neely there on the left side. Styles taking the snap. Bliss to his right. And the give is to Bliss, and nothing doing there. Might have actually lost a yard on the play. And again, this Red Bank Valley defense coming up big when it has to. I think at some point, if you're Port Allegheny, you might have to you know, put it in the air, even if it's Aiden Bliss throwing it. When Port Allegheny played Brockway here, they ran the stampede formation. And at one point, Aiden Bliss pulled up and threw one up the sidelines to Peyton Styles. So I think we might see that at some point. Maybe not here, but. Well, Wilfong has come back in to take the snap as Styles splits out to the right and throwing a towel towards the sideline there. Wilfong has Bliss behind him, and uh, Justin Biakowski, not liking something there, takes his second. Fran Morelli sales and service timeout of the half. We'll take it with him. Allegheny Girl at Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. Carrie Hover, financial advisor of Cades Margolis. For all your retirement planning needs, contact Carrie at 814-558-1699. Or send them an email at k h a w v e r at the number four k m c dot com. Welcome back to the closest lumber company broadcast booth here at Frank Ferris Getty Field in Brockway. Closest Lumber has been your home improvement headquarters in Olean, New York, and Rowlett, PA since nineteen seventy three. Closestlumber.com. and we've got a third and goal coming up here for Port Allegheny. 3.06 to play, North Chrysler Dodge second quarter, District 9 Class 1A championship. Will Fong in at quarterback, going to go under center now. Toss to Bliss. Spins away from a tackle, and then he's hit and stopped at the four, maybe the three-yard line. But now it will be fourth and goal. Tough run there by Aiden Bliss. You know, we watched a lot of Gator games this year, and, and- Aiden does that bear crawl technique where he puts a hand on the ground. I thought maybe he'd crawl his way into the into the end zone, but you know, nice tackling by Red Bank Valley. Fourth and goal. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Phoenix Centered Metals in Brockway. Phoenix is a Fairschetti family-owned powder metal manufacturing company committed to being an industry leader through excellence, innovation, and continuous improvement. PhoenixCenter.com. And we've got uh, another Port Allegheny. Fran Morelli sales and service timeout. Their final here of the first half with 2.26 to play. Nolf Chrysler Dodge second quarter. The next time your vehicle takes a timeout, Fran Morelli sales and service in Brockway can get you moving again. FranMorelli.com. Tonight's game also being brought to you in part by Mose Bar and Grill in Port Allegheny. Aaron and Merwin PC, attorneys at law in Clarion, Subway in New Bethlehem, and Kerry Hover, financial advisor, Katie Margolis. And, uh, you know, carry a big fourth down here for both of these teams, trying to get some uh, momentum going in to the half. Now, Red Bank Valley will get the ball to start the second half, so even more imperative maybe for Port Allegheny to punch this one in and get some points on the board before halftime. 
Looks like Port Allegheny is going to try for a field goal. I'm not sure I've seen a field goal from Port Allegheny all year long, but Jared Funk has shown that he can he can make kicks like this. It's a 21-yard field goal attempt for Funk. Snaps there, kick is up, but it is wide right and no good. And so, again, the Red Bank Valley defense holds, keeps it a one-point game. 221 to play. North Chrysler Dodge second quarter. No matter your needs, North Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Fairmont City is there for you. Find out more at North Chrysler Dodge.com. That is an SFPC Prime Fitness USA change of possession. And Red Bank Valley going to take over first and 10 at its own 20. And so again, that's you know the drawback to attempting that field goal is instead of you know, if you don't get the touchdown, pinning Red Bank Valley deep. Now they're at the 20. And Huffman going to keep it himself, weaving his way through traffic and fighting the pile to get out to the 25. Five-yard gain for Huffman. Looking down on the sidelines here, I see Braylon Wagner just pacing back and forth, and I really feel bad for him. You know, he is a sophomore, such a talented kid, and just, you know, he just isn't able to play today. Huffman stepping in, playing, playing really, really good so far. Second and five for the Bulldogs. Huffman back to pass. Has some time. Throws it over the middle. Is nearly picked off. Was looking for Kale, and Bliss came over and nearly came up with that interception. Yeah, that would have been a huge turn of events there if Aiden Bliss was able to come up with it. This brings up a third down play. Still, you know, plenty of uh, time on the clock. And again, the rain continues to fall here in Brockway. It is third and five for Red Bank Valley at its own 25, trailing by a point. District 9 Class 1A Championship. Huffman looking deep. He's got a man. It's Klaus. Klaus has the catch. No, it's not Klaus. It's 11. Excuse me, Ryland Rupp. And that is an All-American Awards and Engraving big play for the Bulldogs. Nice pass there by Huffman. I think, you know, that's that's the new key to the game. I think, you know, Huffman showed that he can throw throw those deep passes. I think the Gators have to make an adjustment and stop that. And Red Bank Valley takes its first Fram Rally sales and service timeout. We'll take it with them. Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. When it's your special day, we know you want everything to be just perfect. That's why at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, we spared no expense in creating our new indoor-outdoor wood framed event center with waterfalls, gorgeous views of the Allegheny River, a fire pin, and plenty of parking. The Allegheny Grill in Foxburg will take care of everything from catering to bartending, so all you have to do is bring the fun. We do it all for your wedding, anniversary party, corporate event, and so much more. One look at our new facility, and we know you'll fall in love. And remember, the view is always free at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. Forty-yard pass from Huffman to Ryland Roop has set Red Bank Valley up in Port Allegheny territory at the Gators 35. Officially 140 to play in the North Chrysler Dodge second quarter. Port Allegheny leads Red Bank Valley seven to six. District Nine Class One A Championship, and this is a tie Nesta Builder Supply first down for the Bulldogs. Gators show blitz. They bring it. It's picked up. Huffman has time. Wobbly pass, though. I was looking for Kale. but And then and again, the, the, as you saw, as when we came back from break, the rain is coming down here, and that may have impacted that throw. Yeah, it looks like Port Alleyne is bringing pressure here. I keep mentioning Tristan Kaiser. Um, when they blitz him, something, you know, something positive happens for the Gators. So I'll keep an eye on that, see if that changes the game here. Second and 10. For Red Bank Valley. Huffman looking to throw. Steps looking over the middle and it is intercepted. Jared Funk on the pick. And that is an SFPC Prime Fitness USA change of possession. As Port Allegheny takes over at its own 10-yard line. 126 officially to play in the North Chrysler Dodge second quarter. Yeah, that's a big play there by Jared Funk to come up with that interception. He had a couple slip through his hands last week, but uh, that that's certainly a game changer right there. 
So first down now for the Gators at their own 10. And you got to think uh, Port Allegheny at, at this point in the half, less than 90 seconds to play, clinging to a one-point lead, going to stick with their bread and butter. And the fumbled snap, balls on the ground. And Red Bank Valley says they have it. They do. And just like that, the Bulldogs are going to take over in the Pizza Hut red zone. Bulldogs now take over at the 11. And again, Kerry, I think we're seeing this rain is becoming a factor in this ballgame. Yeah, absolutely. On that one pass there from Huffman, we saw that it was a little wobbly. We think that the elements might have played a part in that. And then the snap there. Red Bank Valley has plenty of time. You know, 120 left, two timeouts. They could run or pass here. So first down and 10 at the Port Allegheny 11. Kale in motion. They give him on the pitch pass. He cuts up inside, spins away from a tackle, and is down inside the five. Looks like a... Oh, they're going to mark him down right at the five, so a six-yard gain for Kale as we're under a minute to play. North Chrysler Dodge second quarter. And Huffman going to keep it himself. He's hit. And he's only going to get to the, looks like the three. And Red Bank Valley going to take its second Fran Morelli sales and service timeout. And here we go. Carry 43 seconds to play in the first half. Red Bank Valley just, uh, they're going to mark him down at the four. So one yard gain there, just four yards away from taking the lead for the first time in this District 9 championship game. This is a huge opportunity for Red Bank Valley to score, uh, you know, head into halftime with the lead. They get the ball in the second half. Not to question Red Bank Valley here. They they know their players better than I do, but they've already got Braylon Wagner on the sidelines. You know, if I'm a Red Bank Valley fan, I don't like seeing the Port Allegheny defensive line on my quarterback. I'd like, you know, I'd like to see get the ball in Drew Byer's hands or, or one of these receivers. And the next time your vehicle takes a timeout, Fran Morelli Sales and Service in Brockway can get you moving again. Fran Morelli. Dot com. As we're coming out of this timeout, it'll be third down and three. So Red Bank Valley can get a first down here without getting into the end zone. But it is third and three at the four. 43.3 on the uh, scoreboard here at Frank Barrett Field in Brockway. Sent Kale in motion. It's the faked on the pitch pass, Huffman. And there is a flag down. Nothing there for Huffman, but this could be a crucial penalty. And that flag came out quick. Looks like it's going to go against Red Bank Valley. As they're asking Justin Biakowski what uh, what he wants to do here. Do you take the down? I think you push him back, and I think that's what Coach Biakowski decided. And it is. A chop block chop against block Red Bank Valley. Place. So, yeah, absolutely. That's a big one. That's going to mark them, send them all the way back to the 19. And so now it'll be third and 18. And, again, Red Bank Valley does not have to get in the end zone here. Can't get a first down. And Blaine Gold's going to take his final Fran Morelli sales and service timeout of the half. We'll take it with him. Allegheny Girl of Foxburg High School football on the YDL Sports Network. Just like your team builds upon its success, Closes Lumber Company with locations in Olean, New York, and Rowlett, Pennsylvania can help you build the home of your dreams. Closes Lumber, proudly celebrating its 50th anniversary, has everything you need to build and remodel your home, including building materials and supplies, lawn garden accessories, and more. Stop into one of our locations to get some inspiration and work out the details of your next project. They also have an online showroom you can visit anytime at CloselessLumber.com. Closes Lumber, your hometown home improvement center since 1973. And welcome back to the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth. Frank Varachetti Field in Brockway, officially 37.9 on the scoreboard clock. Third down and 18 for Red Bank Valley. Trying to take the lead here in the District 9 Class 1A Championship against Port Allegheny. Brian Hagberg, Kerry Hover with you on the YDL Sports Network. 
big third down play coming up here for both teams. An interesting formation, and now they split out, going to empty the backfield. Trips right. Huffman to pass under pressure immediately, just throws it up, and it is knocked down by Funk. Interesting play call there that is they just let one of those uh, Port Allegheny defensive linemen come free on the play. And it looks like they're going to try to Owen Klaus out here to try about a 35-yard field goal. Or excuse me, a 36-yarder. Ball's on the 19. Okay, this is a tough kick here. And again, we saw Klaus was injured earlier in this game. They did not kick an extra point after the Mason Klaus touchdown, who holds. Kick is away. Does it have enough? No, just short. And so we've seen a pair of missed field goals here in the first half. And Port Allegheny will take over. It's an SFPC Prime Fitness USA change of possession. And uh, give Owen Klaus a lot of credit there. Got that got that kick away, nearly made it. That was a nice little kick, and and boy, this you know seven six game, you know heading into halftime, this is shaping up to be a classic. Well, we saw this uh, Port Allegheny took over after an interception, and then fumbled exchange on the snap on the first play gave uh, Red Bank Valley the the ball. As Port Allegheny looks like it's just going to take a knee here, and that is indeed the case as Will Fong takes a knee. So we will head to halftime with your score: Port Allegheny seven. Red Bank Valley 6. Don't go anywhere. We will be back with the Stitch in Time Custom Embroidery Halftime Show. It's Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. You're watching High School Sports on the YDL Sports Network. Whether retirement is just around the corner or years away, John Bon Giovanni, Lucas Slazak, and Adam Jack of Generational Wealth Management in Erie and Bradford are here for you. John, a Forbes recognized best in state wealth advisor, Lucas and Adam provide customized investment advisory solutions and retirement planning services. Generational Wealth Management offers world class investment services and internationally recognized insurance products from Northwestern Mutual, an industry leader. The Generational Wealth Management team provides a high level of expertise and service to their professional and business clients. Contact the Erie office at 814. 814- 651-0838 or the Bradford office at 814-368-4065 or check them out online at gwm.nm.com. When it's your special day, we know you want everything to be just perfect. That's why at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, we spared no expense in creating our new indoor-outdoor wood frame event center with waterfalls, gorgeous views of the Allegheny River, a fire pit, and plenty of parking. The Allegheny Grill in Foxburg will take care of everything from catering to bartending, so all you have to do is bring the fun. We do it all for your wedding, anniversary party, corporate event, and so much more. One look at our new facility and we know you'll fall in love. And remember, the view is always free at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With convenient locations in Dubois, Ridgeway, St. Mary's, and Warren, you don't have to travel far to get your game-winning smile with Cole Orthodontic Associates. The orthodontists of Cole Orthodontic Associates have been crafting beautiful, healthy smiles in north-central Pennsylvania since 1960. Born and raised in the area, the doctors and staff at Cole Orthodontic Associates are committed to the people of this region. Visit colesmiles.net to schedule an appointment or consultation at the location nearest you today. All-American HQ in Chippenville is your gift headquarters no matter the occasion. All-American HQ always has the perfect gift for that love, wonder, friend. From engraved cutting boards and coffee mugs to personalized sports apparel, All-American HQ has you covered. At All-American HQ, they'll put almost anything on almost everything. AllAmericanHQ.com With locations in Chippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries, and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Actually, Fabrication and Powder Coating LLC is family owned and operated out of Franklin, PA. SFPC is actively seeking new talent and has openings at two plants located in Venango County. Those openings are either first, second, or third shifts at one or both locations. Check out the specific enrollment opportunities at www.specfab.com or send an email along with your resume to careers at specfab.com. SFPC is an equal opportunity employer. 
Welcome back to the closest lumber company broadcast booth here at Frank Varichetti Field in Brockway. It is the A Stitch in Time custom embroidery halftime show for all your costume embroidery needs from hats to shirts, hoodies, jackets, blankets, bags, and more. A Stitch in Time custom embroidery in Port Allegheny. Visit them online, facebook.com slash a stitch in time custom embroidery. Your halftime score here in the District 9 Class 1A football championship game. Port Allegheny 7, Red Bank Valley 6. The 49-yard run from Peyton Styles in the first quarter. Uh, answered by a 15-yard pitch and catch from Jackson Huffman to Mason Klaus. They tried to go for two, failed, had a second opportunity opportunity at it, and could not get the pass completed. And so that is your score, 7-6 to six here at the half. And uh, Brian Hagberg, Kerry Hopper with you on the YDL Sports Network. And Kerry, this is a much different ball game than we saw in Week 8. Absolutely. Uh, you know, in that Week 8 matchup, Red Bank Valley came out. They were throwing the ball all over the field. They showed their speed and athleticism. Braylon Wagner out today, Jackson Huffman in as a quarterback, you know, throwing pretty good. Um, you know, the weather might be playing a little bit of a factor on the Port Allegheny side of things. They're, they haven't thrown the ball once. I mean, they're sticking to their strength, you know, going back and forth with Peyton Styles and Aiden Bliss running the ball. This is an interesting matchup. This is shaping up to be a doozy. And now we're going to take a look at our out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Pizza Hut. It's still time for you to order a fresh hot pizza online today at PizzaHut.com, where no one out pizzas the hut. In District 9 in Class 2A sub-regional in the second quarter, Central Clarion 8, Westinghouse 7. Wildcats uh, giving Westinghouse all they can handle right now. Class 3A sub-regional in the second quarter, Clearfield and Central Martinsburg are tied at 7. In over in District 10 in the Class 3A championship game, Sharon leads Hickory 6 0 in the first quarter. Our Andy Close is down in Farrell covering that one. Stay tuned to the YDL Sports Network for a complete recap of that game. In Class 4A sub regional in the second quarter, Juniata with a two run homer leads Meadville 2 0. <laughs> Uh, interesting score there between <laughs> between those two teams in the second quarter. And in a Class 6A sub-regional in the second quarter, McDowell leading State College 16-6. to Tomorrow in District 10, a couple of district championship games. First at noon, the Class 2A championship, Farrell takes on Mercyhurst Prep. Then it's 7 o'clock, the Class 1A champion championship, Lakeview and Cambridge Springs, the winner of this game tonight, will meet the winner of that Lakeview Cambridge Springs game next week in the PIAA tournament, and uh, that could be a, a great, uh, great matchup depending on uh, how things shake out here with this game and how things shake out tomorrow night or tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow night uh, over in District Ten. I was talking to uh, our colleague uh, Chris Rosetti earlier today, and he was. As I said, I'm more in the regular season. I'm more embedded in District 10, and, and Chris is more uh, here in District 9, and he was just kind of asking about matchups. And uh, it would be really fascinating to me to see, you know, if if Red Bank wins here tonight and Lakeview wins uh, tomorrow night, how those two teams would match up because they're built similarly. Conversely, if Port Allegheny is able to hold on and win and Cambridge Springs were able to win next week, uh, that would be really, really interesting because Cambridge Springs has the type of offensive front that could match up really well with with Port Allegheny. That would be I, I'm a I'm a former uh, lineman myself. So to me, that would be a, a fantastic battle in the trenches and and one that would be uh, worth the price of admission. Yeah, that'll be an interesting matchup there. All you know, whoever wins this game, all eyes are going to be on that game. Uh, looking at the out of town scoreboard. If you're a Red Bank Valley fan, if you're a Port Allegheny fan, frankly, if you're you know a team you know a fan of the district, you know it's shaping up to be pretty good for for mm -hmm. for District Nine. Central Clarion up, would you say eight to seven? Eight seven, yeah, in the second quarter. You know, uh, Red Bank Valley's only loss on the season was to Central Clarion. Port Allegheny lost lost in that week week eight matchup to Red Bank Valley. Lost in week two to Central Clarion. So you know you're, you're cheering them on. You hope they go on and win a state title. Well, you know, and that was that was really the big question for Central Clarion coming into this game against Westinghouse is, you know, outside of of those two matchups with with these two teams here. You know, there was a lot of a lot of questions about the, you know, the strength of their schedule and, you know, how good really are they? Uh, and right now they're showing uh, they're good enough to, ha to hang with one of the teams that a lot of people consider to be one of the top teams in the state in Westinghouse. 
you know, and that's a that's a question that a lot of people over in District 10 have in that uh, Class 2A championship. Uh, you know, Farrell obviously is battle tested, been through. Uh, you know, the state tournament numerous times played a really tough schedule today or this year, uh, including games against uh, Warren Harding and Cathedral Prep. Mercyhurst Prep only played two playoff teams all season. Now, they just rolled through everybody. Uh, you know, I mean, this is a team that gave up 36 points all year long. Uh, but again, the question is, how good are they? Because they really haven't been battle tested. A lot of scoring out of some of those teams you mentioned there. Top three in the state, Central Clarion, number one. I think Mercyhurst Prep was two and Red Bank Valley three. So a lot of scoring coming out of District 9 and 10. And now we're going to take a look at our Brooks Hugh, our Ledbetter Sports Person of the Year Award Halftime Stats. Do you know an athlete who goes above and beyond, not only, not only on the field of play, but also in the field of life? Then nominate them for the Brooks Hugh, our Ledbetter Sports Person of the Year Award. You can find out more at yourdailylocal.com slash BHL Award. Congratulations again to our 2022-23 winner, Sager Towns, Brady Greco. And at the half for Red Bank Valley, Jackson Huffman, 8 of 16 passing, 148 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Ashton Kale has five catches for 99 yards. Mason Klaus, two for 11 and a touchdown. And Riley Roop, one for 40. The Bulldogs have run 31 plays in the first half for 161 yards. For Port Allegheny, Peyton Stiles, 16 carries, 129 yards, and a touchdown. Aiden Pliss, 6 carries for 48 yards. The Gators did not attempt to pass in the first half. All told, the Gators ran 24 times for 181 yards and a touchdown. And, you know, almost a complete role reversal from a week ago for Port Allegheny. This week, it's Peyton Stiles with, with 16 carries to Aiden Bliss's 6. I just had a feeling, you know, if, if I was Red Bank Valley coming into this game, I'm going to target, you know, I'm going to focus on Aiden Bliss. And you've got to account for him. But with two running backs in the backfield that have that, that speed and athleticism that Bliss and Styles have, I just thought Styles was going to be the X factor. Um, proven to be right so far. We'll see if Bliss gets a few more carries here in the second half. You know, you highlighted zero passes for Port Allegheny. I think eventually, I don't know. Maybe they won't pass, but I think at some point you're, you're probably going to see one or two at, at just that right time that, that maybe catches Red Bank Valley off guard. Well, I don't know. I mean, when you run for almost 200 yards in the half, uh, not a not a whole lot of incentive to pass, and especially, again, you know, this rain continues to fall here, and, and we've seen it impact the Red Bank Valley passing game. Uh, you know, so, again, if you're, if you're Justin Bikowski in the locker room, we're telling you guys, hey, you know, outside of, of a fumbled snap, We've really done what we wanted to do offensively through the first half of this ball game. Not only are you running the ball very effectively, but you're also bleeding a lot of clock doing it that way and limiting uh, the number of plays that Allegheny or uh, Red Bank Valley is uh, able to run. Yeah, like you mentioned, 181 yards at halftime. Port Allegheny's got to be very happy with that. But on the Red Bank Valley side of things, to come in with your backup quarterback, Jackson Huffman, 8 for 16, 148 yards and a touchdown. Did have that one interception. Um, but he's shown that he can make plays. He's putting the ball in the neighborhood. I think Port Allegheny's really got to make sure that, you know, when they're, they're going single coverage, that they have the matchup they want. All right, with that, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more of a Stitch in Time Custom Embroidery Halftime Show here from Frank Veracity Field in Brockway. It's Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. For all your sandwich needs, stop in at the New Bethlehem Subway, located across the street from Red Bank Valley High School. The New Bethlehem Subway is open seven days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Stop in today to get your gift cards or order a sandwich or salad online through the app or in the store. The New Bethlehem Subway is a proud supporter of Red Bank Valley Athletics. Nothing goes better with watching sports than a great slice of pizza. And for over 25 years, we're better to get a slice in Port Allegheny than at Fox's Pizza Den. Like the Gators, Fox's Pizza works hard to serve you with a friendly staff and delicious food. Don't wait a second longer. Call now for pickup or home delivery at 814-642-2623. You can also order online at Fox's Pizza Port Allegheny.com. At Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny, we have a large in-house dining room and a banquet area on the second floor. Stop in and see us soon. Go Gators! Aaron and Merwin PC, Attorneys at Law, are two born and raised Clarion County attorneys with an office in Clarion, PA, serving the Tri-County area in criminal defense, DUI, family law, child custody, divorce, and wills and estates. 
visit our website at aaronandmerwin.com and contact us at 814-229-5300. Just like your team builds upon its success, Closest Lumber Company with locations in Olean, New York, and Rowlett, Pennsylvania can help you build the home of your dreams. Closest Lumber, proudly celebrating its 50th anniversary, has everything you need to build and remodel your home, including building materials and supplies, lawn and garden accessories, and more. Stop into one of our locations to get some inspiration and work out the details of your next project. They also have an online showroom you can visit anytime at closestlumber.com. Closest Lumber, your hometown home improvement center since 1973. Why should you choose Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Fairmont City? Why wouldn't you choose them? At Nolf, their sales are speedy and include upfront and straightforward pricing. If it's service and parts you're after, they have skilled technicians who are factory trained while offering knowledgeable parts experts. Maybe you need Nolf's full service body shop offering top quality collision repair to all makes and models of cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. Or do you want to cruise the highway in a clean, shiny vehicle thanks to Nolf's detailing service. No matter your needs, Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Fairmont City is there for you. Find out more at NolfChryslerDodge.com. Welcome back to the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth, Frank Barrichetti Field in Brockway. Closest Lumber has been your home improvement headquarters in Olean, New York, and Rowlett, PA since 1973. CloselumberLumber.com. This is a Stitch in Time custom embroidery halftime show for all your costume embroidery needs, from hats to shirts, hoodies, jackets, blankets, bags, and more. A Stitch in Time custom embroidery in Port Allegheny. Visit them online at facebook.com slash a Stitch in Time custom embroidery. And now we're going to take a look at our Rehab Center second half adjustments with eight locations to serve you, including in Clarion, Brookville, and Containing. The Rehab Center always makes the right adjustments. The Rehab Center is chiropractors caring for help. My second half adjustment for Red Bank Valley is can they complete a uh, pass downfield? Huffman has, has had some jump ball plays. He's put it in the neighborhood. But I think if he can hit his receiver in stride, I think that that's what could potentially separate this score here in the second half. Is the weather going to play a factor as I look up? I look under the lights. Doesn't seem to be raining much now, but, you know, we'll see if that plays a factor. If I'm Port Allegheny, I think you can continue to run the ball, but I think you've got to mix in some misdirection. Uh, when Port Allegheny played Brockway here earlier in the year, we saw an end around on a fourth down play, totally caught Brockway off guard. I think maybe you need to mix in some misdirection. Um, I mentioned in that same game where Aiden Bliss, after running, you know, run after run after run eventually pulled up and passed one to to Styles. So I think, um, you know, I think the opportunity is there to to, to stick with your bread and butter. I just think that maybe some misdirection is the key to the the, the second half here. All right. Those were our rehab center's second half adjustments. Again, the rehab center's chiropractors caring for health. Tonight's game is also being brought to you in part by Allegheny Electric in St. Mary's. Allegheny Electric Service of St. Mary's, AlleghenyElectric.com. By Phoenix Centered Metals, Metals in Brockway, PhoenixCentered.com. By the Warren County Visitors Bureau, WCVB.net slash events. And by Generational Wealth Management with offices in Erie and Bradford Insurance Products from Northwestern Mutual and industry leader, GWM.NM.com. And we will be back. There's a couple minutes left in the half here. We'll be right back. With the start of the third quarter, this is Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. With a beautiful selection and amazing customer service, a Stitch in Time custom embroidery has quality merchandise that can have almost anything made to fit your needs. Stop by at 44 North Main Street in Port Allegheny, like us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash a Stitch in Time custom embroidery, or give us a call today at 814-642-1172. Are you suffering from back pain, headaches, sciatica? Did you know that a healthy nervous system leads to a healthy body? Find out more from Dr. Andrew Young at Port Allegheny Chiropractic and Olean Family Chiropractic. A District 9 lifer, born and raised in Clearfield and now calling Port Allegheny home, Dr. Young has over 20 years of experience. And Port Allegheny Chiropractic and Olean Family Chiropractic have a mission to provide their patients the best results in the shortest time, whatever their health goals are. Find out more at PortAlleghenyChiropractic.com and OleanChiropractic.com. Chiropractic care and good health go hand in hand. Carrie Hover, financial advisor of Cades Margolis. For all your retirement planning needs, contact Carrie at 814-558-1699 or send him an email at K-H-A-W-V-E-R at the number 4KMC.com. 
Moe's Bar and Grill in Port Allegheny. One of our customers called our offerings the best gourmet bar food you'll ever have. That pretty much sums us up. Stop in and see us at 68 West Mill Street, Port Allegheny, or give us a call at 814-642-7999. That's 814-642-7999. Moe's Bar and Grill. Located at 500 Broad Street, Red Bank Chevrolet is proud to be your new Bethlehem auto dealer, offering a wide variety of new cars and trucks, as well as certified used vehicles. We also welcome our Brookville, Pittsburgh, Catanning, and Oil City customers, and are committed to placing the keys of the right vehicle in your hands. What are you waiting for? Stop by and see us today, or give us a call at 814-275-2410. Welcome back to the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth. Frank Barry Shetty Field in Brockway, just about set to start the third quarter. District 9 Class 1A Football Championship. Port Allegheny 7, Red Bank Valley 6. Bulldogs will get the ball to start the second half. No matter where you live, Red Bank Chevrolet in New Bethlehem is a place for a wide variety of cars, trucks, and certified used vehicles. Red Bank, Red Bank Chevrolet is committed to playing the keys of the right vehicle in your hands. RedBankChevrolet.com. So Funk will be kicking. For the Gators, looks like Kale, Klaus, and Roop back to receive for the Bulldogs. And a little squib kick there by Funk, going to be taken at the 20 by Kale. Picks his way through traffic and gets out to the 35. And the Bulldogs will take over first and 10 at their own 35, trailing 7-6. to six. Brian Hyper, Kerry Hover with you on the YDL Sports Network. I want to thank everyone for tuning in here this evening for this District 9 Class 1A championship. Been a great ball game through the first half, Kerry. Yeah, I, I used that word doozy earlier. It, <laughs> it has been a doozy. Uh, this is shaping up to be a classic here. Jackson Huffman in the gun. Byers a sidecar to his right. Trips left for the Bulldogs. And the give is to Byers. He cuts back inside, spins away from a tackle, and gets a gain of maybe a yard. And uh, outside of uh, one big run there from, from Byers, it's been uh, tough sledding for him against this uh, Port Allegheny front. Yeah, the Port Allegheny defensive line has done a good job on Byers. He's had a couple nice runs. Um, you know, I, I think there's still, still some opportunity there for Red Bank Valley to stick with him. Second and nine. Fake to Byers. Down the sideline. He's got a step. It's Mason Klaus with a catch. And that is a tie to Builder Supply. First down for Red Bank Valley. It's an All-American Awards and engraving. Big play for the Bulldogs. And that was the second half adjustment I mentioned. If, if Red Bank Valley can hit the receivers in stride, I think that's going to totally change the second half. So they saw a matchup they liked and took a shot. 46 yards from Huffman to Klaus. At the 20-yard line, they send Kale in motion. Pitch to him. He avoids a tackle, gets to the sideline. Ashton Kale for 21 yards and a daddy's He's in clarion. Touchdown, Red Bank Valley. And that's exactly how you want to come out in the second half if you're Red Bank Valley. Three plays, and the Bulldogs are in the end zone and lead for the first time here tonight. And it looks like they're going to keep the offense out again. We saw Owen Klaus attempt a 35-yard field goal. Didn't quite have enough leg on it, but after missing the two-point conversion on the first touchdown, Bulldogs are going to go for it again. Pass is knocked away by Will Fong. So just over a minute into the third quarter, and Red Bank Valley is in the end zone. They lead Port Allegheny now 12-7. to seven. We'll be back with more Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School football on the YDL Sports Network. With convenient locations in Dubois, Ridgeway, St. Mary's, and Warren, you don't have to travel far to get your game-winning smile with Cole Orthodontic Associates. The orthodontists of Cole Orthodontic Associates have been crafting beautiful, healthy smiles in North Central Pennsylvania since 1960. Born and raised in the area, the doctors and staff at Cole Orthodontic Associates are committed to the people of this region. 
Visit colesmiles.net to schedule an appointment or consultation at the location nearest you today. A 21-yard pass from Jackson Huffman to Ashton Kale in Red Bank Valley has taken the lead for the first time. District 9 Class 1A Championship. Welcome back to the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth. Frank Baruchetti Field in Brockway. Owen Klaus going to kick off for the Bulldogs. And it is taken at the 21 by Styles. A nice return there by Peyton Styles out to the 36. Uh, another Bruno Irofito wrestling camp kickoff from Owen Klaus. The Bruno Irofito wrestling camp in Port Allegheny is the best wrestling camp you've never heard of. The 2024 camp is being held June 17 to 21. Check out more teambruno.org. And so now, Carrie, how did the Gators answer here? That was a quick strike by Red Bank Valley. Just three plays to go 65 yards. Well, like we talked about at halftime, I think you're, if you're the Gators, you stick with your bread and butter, which is the run. I just think I, I eventually you want to see some misdirection. First to 10 at the 36. Give is to Bliss, and he's hit and dropped for a loss. Austin Eastlick shot his way into the backfield, and that's a Larson's Garbage Service loss of yards. They may want to consider throwing that play away, and if they do, Larson's Garbage Service will be here to haul it away. Larson'sGarbageService.com. I marked on my sheet here momentum. You know, momentum is huge in sports, and, and you, you feel the momentum swinging back to Red Bank Valley side here. Port Allegheny obviously wants to score, but at least get a first down here. To Second and 12. And hard count there by Wilfong. Nearly drew the Bulldogs offside, but they're able to hold. And now Bliss going to come up to the sidecar, and they're running out of time. And Justin Bienkowski is going to have to burn a Fran Morelli sales and service timeout early in the second half. Again, just a, a little over two minutes gone by here in the Red Bank Chevy third quarter. No matter where you live, Red Bank Chevrolet in New Bethlehem is a place for a wide variety of cars, trucks, and certified used vehicles. Red Bank Chevrolet is committed to playing the keys of the right vehicle in your hands. RedBankChevrolet.com. Tonight's game is also being brought to you in part by Generational Wealth Management and John Bongiovanni, Lucas Slazak, and Adam Jack and Erie and Bradford. Generational Wealth Management is here for your investment needs. They offer world-class investment services and internationally recognized insurance products from Northwestern Mutual and Industry Leader. Find out more at gwm.nm.com. And coming out of this Fran Morelli Sales and Service timeout, the next time your vehicle takes timeout, Fran Morelli Sales and Service and Brockway can get you moving again. FranMorelli.com will be a second down and 12 coming up for the Gators. Trailing now 12-7 to Red Bank Valley. Fake to Bliss. Styles going to keep it himself. And not much there. Looks like you maybe have got back to the original line of scrimmage it'll be third down and 10. yeah like i mentioned you know it feels like the momentum swinging back to red bank valley side here i think if you're port allegheny and you call that timeout you just got to relax you've been in a lot of tense moments over the last couple couple years just relax and stick to your game plan it is a luton's plumbing heating and air conditioning third down when you get backed up on third long luton's plumbing heating and air conditioning can get you moving again visit online lutonsplumbing.com will fong's first pass attempt of the day is caught by kaiser not going to be enough for the first down, but uh, first pass, first completion for Will Fong. And it looks like the Gators might be keeping the offense on the field here at the 42. Fourth down and looks like about uh, four. Looks like the punt team came on there. I think. Yep. Yeah. And they're going to send the punt team on. Braylon Button's going to punt. It is a Bruno Irofito wrestling camp punt. Red Bank Valley playing it safe. Now, now they send a man back, and Button gets the kick away, and it's going to take a Port Allegheny bounce down inside the 20, but you can see the water kicking up as that ball hit the turf here in Brockway. We're going to step aside for 15 seconds and be right back. What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. 
Red Bank Valley takes over, has a 12-7 lead over Port Allegheny. Just a little over eight and a half to play in the Red Bank Chevrolet third quarter. Bulldogs start first and 10 at their own 19. Had a three-play, 65-yard drive to take the lead. Looking for another deep one to Kale. He comes away with it. Ashton Kale It's going to go 81 yards for the Daddies and Clarion touchdown. And you talked about it, Kerry. They needed to get that passing game going. And so far here in the third quarter, the Bulldogs have done just that. Huffman struck, thrown accurate passes here in the second half, leading his receivers, and they're making plays. Um, those are huge points there because we don't know how many points are going to be scored in this game. And uh, Port Allegheny's got to make an adjustment. And what a, I mean, Kale just making the catch initially was a great play and then spun away from the defender and was off to the races. And now we're going to see Klaus attempt the extra point. The kick is up and good. So, 8.20 to play. Red Bank Valley, Chevy, third quarter. The Bulldogs lead Port Allegheny 19 to 7. We'll be back with more Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. With locations in Chippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Jackson Huffman finds Ashton Kale for an 81-yard touchdown just like that. That was an All-American Awards and engraving big play for the Bulldogs. Celebrate your big play with apparel, apparel or an award from All-American Awards and engraving in Chippenville, allamericanhq.com. Owen Klaus on to kick now as Red Bank Valley leads Port Allegheny 19-7. Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth, Brian Habgrig and Kerry Hover with you on the YDL Sports Network. And Styles is going to let that one bounce all the way into the end zone for the touchback. Closest Lumber has been your home improvement headquarters in Olean, New York, and Rowlett, PA since 1973. Closestlumber.com. Tonight's game also being brought to you in part by Moe's Bar and Grill in Port Allegheny, Aaron and Merwin, PC Attorneys at Law and Clarion, Subway in New Bethlehem, and Kerry Hover, Financial Advisor, Katie's Margolis. So Port Allegheny now will take over at its own 20, trailing by 12. And the Gators are going to have to uh, figure out a way to get that running game going again. Ran for 181 yards in the first half, but uh, the Bulldog defense made an adjustment and had them bottled up, though Nick Wilfong's first pass did go for about eight yards to Kaiser. We'll see if they try to go to the air more. And they're going to keep it on the ground. Bliss escapes a tackle, still fighting, still going forward. And Aiden Bliss moves the pile for a four-yard pickup. Red Bank Valley has six guys at or near the line of scrimmage and three linebackers, no safeties, just just daring Port Allegheny to run. You know, you'd think at some point, you know, a play action pass or something, you know, a little tight end pop right over the middle would uh, really open things up for the Gators. But we'll see what the uh, Port Allegheny offense wants to do here. Second down and six. Bliss now moves to Wilfong's left. And the give is to Bliss. Right off left tackle. He's through the hole and out across. The 35 for a tiny nested builder supply first down. And why throw the ball when he can run it like that? Port Allegheny sticking with his bread and butter. You know, not time to panic. Down 12. Obviously, you don't want to be down 12, but you got to stick with your game plan and, uh, you know, hope to put up uh, points on the board here for your Gator fan. So, first down now at the 35. And the give is to Bliss again, and he patiently waits for his block, spins around, and going to have another four-yard game. That's key for Port Allegheny to get, you know, four or five yards on first down. I think that's, you know, that's one of the keys that they need to focus on here in the, first, in the second half. And they're actually going to mark him down at the 40, so give him five yards on that, make it second down and five. 
one started the one that said no. And the, the key here, Kerry, I think, is Port Allegheny is not panicking. Down by 12, again, you've seen a couple of big plays, passing plays uh, in the second half to start here for Red Bank Valley, but the Gators still being patient. Give us to Styles. Styles has a big hole, runs through a tackle, and is going to get close to midfield. In fact, they're going to mark him down at midfield. Another tie us to Builder Supply first down for the Gators. Like you said, Port Allegheny not panicking, just sticking with the, the two-headed monster, Aiden Bliss and Peyton Styles. And, uh, you know, plenty of time here in the second half. Now the key's going to be if, if Port Allegheny comes away with points on this drive, the defense has got to find a way to slow that passing attack, uh, which has been just absolutely on fire so far here in the second half. First down at midfield. And the give is to Bliss, and he'll plow his way forward for about two. Or excuse me, that was Styles. Second and eight. And again, Port Allegheny just doing what it does. No, uh, no panic. Not trying to rush through things. And this is maybe the best way to help the defense is uh, you know a long sustained drive. And uh, let those coaches get some adjustments figured out on the sideline. And the toss to Styles. Styles picks up a block, and he'll get out to the 45. And that'll make it third down and five. Would think this is probably four down territory here at this point. In the I field. would think so. That was a nice run by Styles. Puts him, you know, in a manageable third and five. Like you said, I think maybe four down territory. Will Fong in the gun sends Kaiser in motion, gives it to him, and Kaiser squeezed back in front, but then he's hit hard. Big tackle there by Brandon Ross, and it's a fourth down decision coming up for the Gators. So there's that misdirection play I was talking about you know, for the second half adjustment. Um, you know, I, I think we'll, we'll probably go back to that play at some point. And it is a fourth down and four, and the Gators are going to go for it. The Wilfong looking like maybe he's having some trouble getting the play from the sideline. Play clock down to six. And Wilfong gets it off. He rolls. Cuts back inside, keeps it himself. Will Fong is going to have enough for the tie us to build her supply first down. Needed the 40, got to the 39, and this drive continues for Port Allegheny. So I think of the 10 different options I thought that would happen that play. I did not think we would see Nick Will Fong rolling and getting the first down, but uh, nice play call by the Gator coaching staff. And this drive being built by Ty Nesta Builder Supply with locations in Shippenville and Ty Nesta online at tynestabuilders.us. First down at the 39, Styles weaving his way to the sideline, spins away from a tackle. Gain uh, about two. And again, Port Allegheny just plugging away, plugging away, content to take those two-yard gains when they're there, pick up five or six yards when it's available, and just keep the ball moving down the field. Using a lot of clock here. We're under three minutes left in the third quarter, so if you're a Port Allegheny fan, you you almost have to score here. You don't want to put it back in Red Bank Valley's hands. Second and eight. Wilfong gets the play, has Bliss, the sidecar, to his right now. No, nope, now he shifts back to the left. Twins to each side. They send the man in motion. It's Kaiser. Give us to Bliss, and he fumbles the ball, and Red Bank Valley's got it. And a Big turnover there by the Bulldogs. That's an All-American Awards and engraving big play as Red Bank Valley stops what had been a very productive drive and takes over at its own 39. And with that, we're going to take a quick timeout. This is Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. Are you suffering from back pain, headaches, sciatica? Did you know that a healthy nervous system leads to a healthy body? 
Find out more from Dr. Andrew Young at Port Allegheny Chiropractic and Olean Family Chiropractic. A District 9 lifer, born and raised in Clearfield and now calling Port Allegheny home, Dr. Young has over 20 years of experience. And Port Allegheny Chiropractic and Olean Family Chiropractic have a mission to provide their patients the best results in the shortest time, whatever their health goals are. Find out more at PortAlleghenyChiropractic.com and OleanChiropractic.com. Chiropractic care and good health go hand in hand. Nothing goes better with watching sports than a great slice of pizza. And for over 25 years, we're better to get a slice in Port Allegheny than at Fox's Pizza Den. Like the Gators, Fox's Pizza works hard to serve you with a friendly staff and delicious food. Don't wait a second longer. Call now for pickup or home delivery at 814-642-2623. You can also order online at Fox's Pizza Port Allegheny.com. At Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny, we have a large in-house dining room and a banquet area on the second floor. Stop in and see us soon. Go Gators! It takes over after the Aiden Bliss fumble, and and we've got a flag at the late flag at the end of that play. And Port Allegheny had been driving, and then uh, Bliss got hit right as he went through the hole, fumbled the ball. Red Bank Valley recovered, and so that first down play goes for about a yard. But we'll see what the penalty flag is. Showcase Holmes penalty. Looks like it's going to go against Red Bank Valley. And it is a uh, dead ball personal foul penalty against Red Bank Valley. So that'll back them up 15 yards. It's a Showcase Homes penalty. When building a new home, you'll never be penalized when you use Showcase Homes. Showcase Homes is your experienced new home builder in Western PA. Showcase Homes brings your dreams to life. Visit them online at visitshowcasehomes.com. And so it'll be second and... Uh, 24 for the Bulldogs. Big penalty there against Red Bank Valley. If I'm them, I go right back to the air, throw it up to one of these athletic receivers. Trips to the near side. One-on-one -on -one coverage up top and a big cushion up there. They're going to give it to Byers, and he's going to be swarmed in the backfield. It's a Larson's garbage service loss of yards. Neely and Miska Young in on the tackle for the Gators. We'll make it a third down and 24. It's a Luton's Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, third and 24 for Red Bank Valley. You know, and you wonder how much of this, Gary, is just Red Bank Valley trying to uh, bleed out the clock. As Huffman back to pass, has time, looking for Kale. It's high and incomplete. And Kale looking uh, for a pass interference penalty is not going to get it. And... Uh, aided by that personal foul penalty, but the Gators get a much needed stop after the turnover. Absolutely. I, you know, I wrote some notes down here for myself for the second half and I put an asterisk by special teams. You know, this is an opportunity for Port Allegheny to maybe flip the script, you know, get, have a good punt return here. Klaus back for the Bruno Iorfito wrestling camp punt. Bliss back to receive. Klaus gets the kick away. Bliss going to let it bounce, takes it at the 37. And tried to spin away from a tackle, but good open field uh, tackling there by the Bulldogs. Carson Gold with the uh, tackle for Red Bank Valley. And that is a SFPC Prime Fitness USA change of possession, especially fabrication and powder coating. And Prime Fitness USA are both companies that are family owned and operated out of Franklin. SFPC is actively seeking new talent and has openings. It's two plants in Venango County. Find out more sfpc.com slash careers. And so now Port Allegheny gets a chance again to cut into this lead. Red Bank Valley didn't take too much time off the clock. So this is, you know, still, still a lot of time for Port Allegheny, but they, they almost have to score here. And give is to Bliss. Tries to turn the corner, cuts back inside. And gonna pick up about three. And you know, outside of that uh, explosive 49 yard uh, Styles touchdown run in the first quarter, uh, yards have been pretty hard to come by for those uh, two fantastic Gators running back. Red Bank Valley's pack in the box. I just put a, you know, put a note here for myself only you know one for one uh, the gators you know passing so you know if you're red bank valley you've got to expect more of the run so just keep packing the box second and eight will fong under center 
Styles a deep back, and he's going to get it. Tries the left side, and nothing there. Gain of a yard. Brandon Ross again. In on the stop for Red Bank Valley. Yeah, three guys in Peyton Styles' face there making the tackle. Might be the time to go to the air here. I'm not really sure. Luton's Plumbing Heating Air Conditioning third down. 15 seconds left on the play clock. We'll see if Port Allegheny wants to run another play. They don't have to. And Will Fong is going to take it. He keeps it himself, weaves his way through traffic, escapes a tackle, and he's going to be real close to a first down, but I think just short. Needed the 49, got about the 48 and a half. But that will be the end of our third quarter here from Frank Ferrichetti Field in Brockway. We head to the fourth, District 9, Class 1A Championship on the line. We'll be back. More Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. With a beautiful selection and amazing customer service, A Stitch in Time Custom Embroidery has quality merchandise that can have almost anything made to fit your needs. Stop by at 44 North Main Street in Port Allegheny, like us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash A Stitch in Time Custom Embroidery, or give us a call today at 814-642-1172. Carrie Hover, financial advisor of Cades Margolis. For all your retirement planning needs, contact Carrie at 814-558. 1699 or send them an email at k h a w v e r at the number 4 k m c dot com big fourth down play coming up here for Port Allegheny to start the Port Allegheny Chiropractic fourth quarter Dr. Young of Port Allegheny Chiropractic and only in famous chiropractic is a D9 lifer having played football at Clearfield Dr. Young's mission is to provide his patients with the best results in the shortest time whatever their health goals are find out more Port Allegheny Chiropractic.com so fourth and about a yard for Port Allegheny trailing Red Bank Valley 19-7 District 9 Class 1A football championship and they got the Bulldogs to jump Nick Wilfong with the hard count. It's a showcase Holmes offside penalty, and we'll give the Gators a first down. Big offsides call there. That's going to set up first and 10 for the Gators, leaving an opportunity for them to offside potentially get on the board here. Yeah, welcome into the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth here at Frank Barrett Shetty Field in Brockway. Closest Lumber has been your home improvement headquarters in Olean, New York, and Rowlett, PA since 1973. CloselumberCom Brian Hagberg, Kerry Hover with you on the YDL Sports Network. And a tie nest to builder supply first down for the Gators. And key on that is they got to the first down without taking any time off this fourth quarter clock. Give is to Bliss. He goes right off left tackle for gain of about three, maybe four. Last week in Bradford, Aiden Bliss obviously had a monster game, but in the fourth quarter, he seemed to heat up. That's when he really started to wear down the Brockway defense. We'll see if uh, we see some of that against Red Bank Valley tonight. Second down and seven coming up. Actually, they only gave him about two. It was marked it down at the uh, 45. So the Gators back in Bulldogs territory. Got down here on their last possession, and then a fumble. Gave it back to Red Bank Valley. Bliss tried to turn the corner again. Gets knocked out of bounds after a short gain. Uh, they're going to give him two down to the 43. So you're going to have third and six. Luton's Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, third down for the Gators. And carry the last couple of uh, times they've needed a conversion, Wilfong's kept it himself. Yeah, like I said, uh, of the top 10 options I thought that were going to happen, I didn't expect Nick Wolfong to get that first down a couple of possessions ago. But, uh, hey, caught him off guard. And the pitch to Styles. He shakes off a tackle and cuts up field. He's going to be close but short. And another big fourth down coming up for the Gators. This one is going to be a fourth and looks like two. I think if you're Red Bank, you've got to anticipate the hard count here. Uh, Port Allegheny might have a play called, and then if they, they can't get him to jump off sides, they might call a second play. So we'll see what happens here. Fourth and two. And Wilfong gives to Bliss. Bliss looking for the corner. He's hitting the backfield, and he's going to be stopped. The Bulldogs come up with another fourth down stop 
It's an SFPC Prime Fitness USA change of possession. And this Red Bank Valley defense, when they've had to have the stops, have come up with them. Yeah, Red Bank Valley, th th their tacklers have been impressive tonight. Not a lot of missed tackles. I'm not sure I remember a missed tackle. I, I highlighted, wrote a number down here, number 51, Brandon Ross. He's had a heck of a game, too. And tonight's game also being brought to you in part by the Warren County Visitors Bureau. Looking for something to do? Look no further than Warren County PA, wcvb.net slash events. And it will be interesting to see the uh, offensive approach that Red Bank Valley takes here. We saw them on their last possession after the fumble uh, really stuck with the ground game. So they're going to take over at their own 40, but uh, Blink Gold calls a Fran Morelli sales and service timeout. Saw something he did not like. He is not happy on the sideline. I think the play clock was maybe running down there. And uh, so Blink Gold takes the Fran Morelli sales and service timeout. We'll take a quick. Time out with them. It's Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. Tap and Pay Plus is fundraising for the 21st century. Nothing to sell, nothing to hand out, nothing to do other than shop like you normally do. Have everybody that you know download the Tap and Pay Plus fundraising app and use it to pay at any of our 300 plus national brand partners. Then watch the money roll in. Learn more at tapandpayplus.com. What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. Back here at Verachetti Field in Brockway, Red Bank Valley, after a fourth down stop, takes over first and 10 at its own 40. Leads Port Allegheny 19-7, to District 9 Class 1A Championship. And the give is to Byers, and this time Byers has a hole. Shakes away from a tackle, and it'll be a seven, maybe an eight-yard gain for Byers on first down. That's exactly what you want if you're Red Bank Valley. Jackson Huffman uh, unofficially has 295 yards passing, so their bread and butter has really been passing. But now you want to you know, chew up some clock, so we'll probably see more of Drew Byers here. Second and two now for the Bulldogs. Ten minutes to go. Port Allegheny Chiropractic fourth quarter. Again, winner of this game will face either Lakeview or Cambridge Springs from District 10. That championship game will be played tomorrow night. And Byers picking his way through. He's going to be close, but there is a penalty flag down in the backfield. And that's going to be a penalty. Looks like they're against Red Bank Valley, another showcase homes penalty. It's a holding penalty against the Bulldogs. That's a big penalty against Red Bank Valley, but man, that was a nice cut by Drew Byers to you know to get himself in position for first down. But uh, we'll replay the down here. And that would be second down and twelve. Bulldogs backed up to their own thirty-eight. Need to get to midfield. And send Kale across the formation. And Huffman looking to throw. Has time down the field looking for Kale. He's wide open. It is caught. Spins away from a tackle. It's another All-American Awards and engraving big play from Huffman to Ashton Kale. And a tie Esther Builder Supply first down for the Bulldogs. They are in the Pizza Hut red zone. Still time for you to order fresh hot pizza now online at PizzaHut.com where no one out pizzas the hut. Yeah, great pass there by Huffman. Like I said, 295 yards passing coming into that, that pass. Bulldogs now at the Gators 15. And... Give is to Byers, and Byers is going to be hit for a Larson's garbage service loss of yards. It's like a loss of one. You talk about an embarrassment of riches if you're Red Bank Valley. I'm looking at the uh, the roster here. Uh, Jackson Huffman, sophomore. Braylon Wagner, also a sophomore. <laughs> 
and Huffman are going to come over to the sideline to get the play. Now they're going to they're going to pull him off the field altogether. Nope, well, they send him send him back in with the play. There's 12 seconds left on the play clock. And Huffman going to keep it himself. Gets away from a defender in the backfield, and then it takes a big hit by Bliss. But it looked like uh, Braylon Button had a chance to uh, stop that one for another loss, and Huffman able to just juke his way right around Button and gets down to the seven. Yeah, Braylon Button's a basketball player. He's a pretty athletic kid for his size, but uh, Jackson Huffman with too much speed to get around the edge there. So it'll be Luton's plumbing, heating, air conditioning, third down and two for the Bulldogs at the seven. And Huffman could keep it himself again. And this, he'll have enough for a tie nest to build or supply first down. It'll be first and goal now for the Bulldogs inside the five. Looks like he's at the three. So this could be it here. If, if Red Bank Valley is able to score, this could this could be the ball game. You'd almost think uh, for Port Allegheny to stay in it, the defense is going to have to come up with a, some kind of turnover, get the football back. And Red Bank Valley allowing this clock to run down as much as they can. And Huffman going to keep it himself again. He's got it. In for the Daddy Sinclairian touchdown, Red Bank Valley. Yeah, so Hoffman Huffman walks in untouched. Three yard run there for Huffman. Oh, and Klaus coming in to attempt the extra point. And Klaus's kick is up and good. 6.54 to play. Port Allegheny Chiropractic, fourth quarter. Red Bank Valley, 26. Port Allegheny, 7. Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School football on the YDL Sports Network. Why should you choose Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Fairmont City? Why wouldn't you choose them? At Nolf, their sales are speedy and include upfront and straightforward pricing. If it's service and parts you're after, they have skilled technicians who are factory trained while offering knowledgeable parts experts. Maybe you need Nolf's full service body shop offering top quality collision repair to all makes and models of cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. Or do you want to cruise the highway in a clean, shiny vehicle thanks to Nolf's detailing service? No matter your needs, Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Fairmont City is there for you. Find out more at NolfChryslerDodge.com. Three yard run by Jackson Huffman has pushed the Red Bank Valley lead 26 to 7 over Port Allegheny. It's a Bruno Arofito wrestling camp kickoff taken by Bliss at the five, and he'll get out to the 20. That's where Port Allegheny will take over in the. Uh, Time running out on the Gators to defend their District 9 Class 1A title. Yeah, I thought maybe we'd see a squib kick there. That worked out to Red Bank Valley's favor where Port Allegheny starting, you know, deep inside their own zone. But I thought maybe they'd sacrifice, a, you know, a few yards just to make sure to minimize any kind of big plays. Port Allegheny doesn't have that, you know, quick strike offense, you know, 75-yard bomb. But uh, And Blaine Gold going to take a Fran Morelli sales and service timeout. The next time your vehicle takes a timeout, Fran Morelli sales and service in Brockway can get you moving again. Fran Morelli. Dot com. We'll be right back. Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. Just like your team builds upon its success, Closest Lumber Company with locations in Olean, New York, and Rowlett, Pennsylvania can help you build the home of your dreams. Closest Lumber, proudly celebrating its 50th anniversary, has everything you need to build and remodel your home, including building materials and supplies, lawn and garden accessories, and more. Stop into one of our locations to get some inspiration and work out the details of your next project. They also have an online showroom you can visit anytime at Closeslumber.com. Closest Lumber, your hometown home improvement center since 1973. Welcome back to the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth, Frank Barrichetti Field in Brockway. 
Brian Hagberg, Kerry Hopper with you on the YDL Sports Network District 9 Class 1A Championship game. Red Bank Valley leads Port Allegheny 26 to 7. Just got a score update over in the 2A sub regional. Westinghouse has started to pull away from Central Clarion 28 to 8 in the third quarter of that ball game. First down for the Gators from their own 21. There's a little screen pass and blockers in front. And that was Styles on the reception. He's going to have a tie nest to builder supply first down. And, you know, maybe that's the passing game, carry that uh, Port Allegheny needs to get going, just those little screens and dump offs and uh, let those backs get into open space. Yeah, I like that play call there. Will Fong to throw again. Had a man, but. Too far behind Styles there. Looked like number four, Kellen Veyu, was kind of streaking down the field with nobody around him. It'll be second and 10 now at the 44 for Port Allegheny. It's own 44. Will Fong to throw again. That's time. Fires and it's knocked away. Rock Monrean on the pass breakup for Red Bank Valley will make it a Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning third down and 10. When you get backed up on third and long, call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. You get you moving again. And this is where the Gators did not want to be. This is not uh, the style of football that they want to play. Three straight passes here for Wilfong after not throwing one in the first half. And they're going to give the reverse and a flea flicker. Wilfong has Styles wide open. He makes the catch, but because he bobbled it, he's only going to gain about five yards. The first down was there if if Styles is able to catch that cleanly. But again, it's been raining most of the second half, and you can see the ball kind of slip through his hands. Yeah, nice little trick play, nice little play call. Uh, just you know, like like you said, uh, Pete Styles just bobbled a little bit, gave the Red Bank Valley defenders time to close in on him. And the clock is rolling here, and so he only by the time he secured the ball, it only ends up as a three yard gain. So it'll be fourth down and seven. Wilfong, quick pass for Kaiser is broken up. And that'll be an SFPC Prime Fitness USA change of possession. Red Bank Valley will take over first and 10 inside Port Allegheny territory, leading 26 to 7. It's Allegheny Girl of Foxburg High School football on the YDL Sports Network. When most places start preparing for a long winter's nap, we start living our best life. The mountainsides burning with color ignite something inside that now is the time to embrace what's around us. Warren County, Pennsylvania really is paradise as we are surrounded with beautiful places and smiling faces. Warren County, Pennsylvania. Find your adventure. Find your peace. Need plumbing, heating, or air conditioning services in Western PA? Then call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning in Clarion today at 814-226-8695. At Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, we believe that a service-oriented business like ours should give you quality care and a quick response time. That's why we stand on our promise, offering you reliable 24-hour service that gets your job done right when you need it. We can also be found on the web at lutonsplumbing.com. Again, that number is 814-226-8695. Back here at Frank Verichetti Field in Brockway, first and 10 for Red Bank Valley at the Port Allegheny 47 after the turnover on downs. Drew Byers on the carry. We'll get two yards out to the 45. It's Red Bank Valley about five minutes away from securing its third District 9 championship in four years. So we just got a little update here, kind of a, a cool, uh, impressive accomplishment. Mason Klaus came in. And Red Bank Valley fans thought he was going to be the first one to get a thousand receiving yards in Red Bank Valley history. But Ashton Kale, who came in with eight eight hundred some, ends up with nine catches, two hundred forty nine yards, and he's the first one to get to a thousand yards. Congratulations to Ashton. 
And keeper there by Huffman. He's got a whole lot of space. Is knocked down by Veyu after he's got the Tynesta Builder Supply first down across the 35 to the 32. And now not, not only are we uh, starting to deal with the rain here, but the fog is starting to roll in at Frank Varachetti Field as well. As we're uh, close to uh, the end of this ball game, approaching four minutes left in the Port Allegheny Chiropractic fourth quarter. Red Bank Valley letting that play clock wind all the way down. Huffman gives to Byers. Byers picks his way through. Gain of about two. We'll make it second down, but we are under four minutes to play here in the Port Allegheny Chiropractic fourth quarter. And you can see a great shot there from our cameraman, Dan Funk, on the uh, getting the fog rolling in as the rain continues to fall here in Brockway. And I want to thank him for all the great uh, camera work that he's done uh, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, last week in Bradford, here tonight again in Brockway for this uh, District 9 championship. I want to thank all of you for tuning in to the YDL Sports Network for tonight's ball game. Give to Byers again, and he slips through a tackle, and you can see the water come up on the field after he's hit. He stopped at the 25, so it'll be third down and about two. Yeah, Drew Byers running real tough here. Jackson Huff, Huffman's had some runs. Uh, if I'm the coach, maybe I pull Jackson Huffman and, and have somebody hand the ball off. I, I want to I wanna, you know, protect him as much as I possibly can uh, for next week's matchup against the District 10 winner. And again, that game will be decided tomorrow night in Meadville, Lakeview taking on Cambridge Springs. Another one versus two matchup. The Sailors the top seed. Blue Devils the number two seed. And Huffman going to keep it himself on third down, pushes the pile. It will depend on the spot, but I think he's got enough for the tie to Builder Supply first down, and he does. And a fresh set of downs should allow Red Bank Valley to essentially run this clock out. And uh, we are going to stay with it here as they do the – Trophy presentation as best they can on the field. Uh, the way this rain is coming down right now, it's as uh, it's as heavy as it's been all night. We thought the worst was uh, was behind us, but uh, this is this is absolutely the heaviest that it's been all night here. And it comes with uh, just about two minutes to go in the Port Allegheny Chiropractic fourth quarter. Huffman picking his way through the Gators defense, and that is another tie nest to builder supply first down as the. Bulldogs are in the Pizza Hut red zone. Still time for you to order a fresh hot pizza now online at PizzaHut.com where no one out pizzas the hut. Jackson Huffman, he's showing his athleticism here, but uh, if I'm a Red Bank Valley fan, I don't want to see him take one more hit. Yeah. Not one. Uh, and I would think, too, uh, I mean, 26 to 7, you're under two minutes to go, I think, and they're going to bring Braylon Wagner in to kneel this one out and uh, – you got to feel good for for Wagner. You know, you know it's got to have been killing him to be on the sidelines the last couple of weeks. And uh, after leading this team at the quarterback position all season long, he gets a chance to come in for the victory for formation to give his team the District Nine Class One A championship. Yeah, that's really cool to see. Um, you know, we talked about the accomplishments that he had coming in: thirty nine touchdowns, only three interceptions. Uh, I don't know what his health diagnosis is, but really hope that he gets back on the field here soon. And a couple more kneel downs will do it again. Uh, and somebody's uh, somebody's canopy. This tells you how hard the wind's blowing. There's a a, a number of folks up above us, including including our cameraman up above, uh, who had some canopies, and one of them just got blown off or blown over up top there. Uh, again, as this rain is uh, moving in quickly, we're under a minute to go. Yeah, if you're the Gators, you wanted to see this weather about, you know, an hour and a half ago. I think that <laughs> might have adversely affected Red Bank Valley, but uh, both teams have done, you know, really good playing in these elements. And there's going to be one more kneel down here, and uh, these two teams will be shaking hands. And uh, nothing, absolutely nothing to be disappointed about if you're uh, if you're Port Allegheny. Uh, fantastic season following up. Uh, state semifinal appearance, get all the way back 
to the District 9 championship, but the, that quick strike offense early in the third quarter for Red Bank Valley, too much for Port Allegheny to overcome here tonight. Your final, Red Bank Valley 26, Port Allegheny 7. The Bulldogs back on top of the District 9 Class 1A Mountain. They are your 2023 District 9 champions, Red Bank Valley. Stay tuned with us for the Tap and Pay Plus post-game show. Again, we're going to try to uh, get the trophy presentation on the field as best we can. And uh, we will have our Allegheny Grill of Foxburg player of the game and the Cole Orthodontic Associates player interview with you for you as well. Again, your final here from Brockway, Red Bank Valley 26, Port Allegheny 7, Allegheny Grill of Foxburg High School Football on the YDL Sports Network. For all your sandwich needs, stop in at the New Bethlehem Subway, located across the street from Red Bank Valley High School. The New Bethlehem Subway is open seven days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Stop in today to get your gift cards or order a sandwich or salad online through the app or in the store. The New Bethlehem Subway is a proud supporter of Red Bank Valley Athletics. Nothing goes better with watching sports than a great slice of pizza. And for over 25 years, we're better to get a slice in Port Allegheny than at Fox's Pizza Den. Like the Gators, Fox's Pizza works hard to serve you with a friendly staff and delicious food. Don't wait a second longer. Call now for pickup or home delivery at 814-642-2623. You can also order online at Fox's Pizza, Port Allegheny.com. At Fox's Pizza Den in Port Allegheny, we have a large in-house dining room and a banquet area on the second floor. Stop in and see us soon. Go Gators! Aaron and Merwin PC, Attorneys at Law, are two born and raised Clarion County attorneys with an office in Clarion, PA, serving the Tri-County area in criminal defense, DUI, family law, child custody, divorce, and wills and estates. Visit our website at aaronandmerwin.com and contact us at 814-229-5300. Just like your team builds upon its success, Closest Lumber Company with locations in Olean, New York, and Rowlett, Pennsylvania can help you build the home of your dreams. Closest Lumber, proudly celebrating its 50th anniversary, has everything you need to build and remodel your home, including building materials and supplies, lawn and garden accessories, and more. Stop into one of our locations to get some inspiration and work out the details of your next project. They also have an online showroom you can visit anytime at closestlumber.com. Closest Lumber, your hometown Home Improvement Center since 1973. Why should you choose Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Fairmont City? Why wouldn't you choose them? At Nolf, their sales are speedy and include upfront and straightforward pricing. If it's service and parts you're after, they have skilled technicians who are factory trained while offering knowledgeable parts experts. Maybe you need Nolf's full service body shop offering top quality collision repair to all makes and models of cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. Or do you want to cruise the highway in a clean, shiny vehicle thanks to Nolf's detailing service? No matter your needs, Nolf Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Fairmont City is there for you. Find out more at NolfChryslerDodge.com. Well, welcome back to the Closest Lumber Company broadcast booth. Frank Barry Shetty Field in Brockway, your final, the District 9 Class 1A Championship, Red Bank Valley 26, Port Allegheny 7. The Bulldogs knock off the Gators to regain the District 9 Class 1A title. This is the Tap and Pay Plus post game show. Tap and Pay Plus is fundraising made easy. Earn more funds in less time with nothing to sell, hand out, or collect. Find out more at tapandpayplus.com. That's tap, the letter N, payplus.com. And again, we're going to try to bring you the um, the trophy presentations. The rain somewhat subsided a little bit while we were on a commercial break, but uh, uh, it is going to be a soggy trophy presentation on the field here tonight. And uh, again, you know, with Jackson Huffman, huge game coming in for an injured Braylon Wagner, uh, over 300 yards passing, a couple of touchdowns, ran in the uh, final score of the game. Ashton Kale becomes uh, somewhat surprisingly the first Red Bank player to top 1,000 yards receiving, uh, had uh, 249 yards, a couple of touchdowns. Uh, big one, 81-yarder in the second half. Uh, really kind of put this game out of reach, Kerry. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I do the, a lot of the Port Allegheny broadcasts, you know, for, for the Port Allegheny team and uh, bring up a lot of Gator football history. You know, for Red Bank Valley fans, 10, 20 years from now, that's going to be the answer to a trivia question. Who was the first 1,000-yard receiver? And that's Ashton Kale. He had a heck of a game. And the uh, Gators are receiving their second-place 
medals now. Bradley Stilson. And we will turn it over to our public address announcer to uh, let you see this. Alex Smith. Brendan Penninger. Jackson Young. Carson Neely. Gavin Moses. Tyler Philhart. Levi Will Fall. Miska Young. Cole Kisco. Craig Babcock. Yuso Young. Ethan Tarbox. Braylon Button. Austin Freer. Henry Troop. Athletic trainer Julie Barton. Team physician Dr. Jason Trinetti. Manager Ryan Hartzell. Manager Aiden Bachman. Manager Olivia Binkowski. Manager Sophia Binkowski. Manager Chase Boyd. Manager Brennan Philhart. Manager Isaiah Petruzzi. Manager Jack Smith. AD Aaron Clark. Principal Mark Bud. Superintendent Gary Buxton. Assistant Coach Ricky Bovey. Assistant Coach Brandon Ramo. Assistant Coach Pal Bachman. Assistant Coach Cliff Philhart. Assistant Coach Charlie Buchanan. Assistant Coach Blaine Moses. Assistant Coach Josh McNeil. Assistant Coach Brian Neal. Assistant Coach Seth Lowry. Assistant Coach Chad Saltzman. And your head coach, Justin Bienkowski. Your District 9 single A runner up support Allegheny Gators. And now presenting for the District 9 single A champions, the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs. Easton Magnanotti. Riley Schreckengoss. Peyton Kenamuth. Sean Yaney. Eli Rex. Jonas Borley. Connor Caldwell. Bailey Bowser. Nathan Jimenez. Tristan Smathers. Aiden Byers. Carson Gold, Braylon Wagner, White Byers, Jackson Huffman, Brock George, Jaron Christians, Tanner McDonald, Canyon Martin, Devin Weckerly. Devin Hay, Jordan Smith, Drew Fires, Brock Monrian, Rylan Roof, Austin Eastlick, Hayden Rierich, Jonathan Slack. Aiden Adams, Ashton Kale, Caden Nightswalker, Luke Booth, Ashton George, Owen Klaus, Gavin Carroll, Garrett Schaefer, Russ Pleiter. 
Mason Klaus, Caden Adams, Brandon Ross, Christian Klinger, the coaches, Trent Bowersox, Ruben Carrillo, Ronnie Dice, Connor Shoemaker, Scott Koff, Carl Bartley, Jason Hoffman, Wes Koff, Jason Kundig, and the head coach, Blaine Gold. At this time, we'd like the representatives from Redback Valley to accept the District 9 championship plaque from District 9 committee member Peter Greco. And there you see Pete Greco presenting the District 9 championship trophy to the Red Bank Valley Bulldogs, your 2023 District 9 class 1A football champions. They defeat Port Allegheny 26 to 7. Again, this is the Tap and Pay Plus post game show on the YDL Sports Network. And again, this was a uh, seven to six game at the half carry to Port Allegheny on the strength of a 49 yard uh, Peyton Styles touchdown run. Had the had taken the league. Uh, Huffman hit uh, Mason Klaus in the end zone, but the two point conversion failed, and Port Allegheny led at the half seven to six. And then all of a sudden, the Red Bank Valley passing game came alive in the third quarter. Opening drive of the third quarter, three plays, 65 yards, and the Bulldogs had a lead. They wouldn't relinquish. I talk on our local broadcast about, about momentum. I don't know what it is with sports, but once the momentum starts to swing the other way, it just you know it just starts to feel like things are, are spinning out of control. Um, Red Bank Valley came out in the second half, like you said, three plays struck you know struck fast and put Port Allegheny back on its heels. And I think they started to say, oh no, you know here they go. And uh, you know hats off to Red Bank Valley. They they you know they they came out in the second half and earned it. Um, Jackson Huffman 342 yards unofficially. Ashton Kale nine catches 249 yards two touchdowns. Um, as a Gator fan, looking, you know, I always look way too far ahead, and I'm looking, <laughs> looking down the the names here. I'm ha I'm going to be rooting for Red Bank Valley next week against District 10, um, but there's a lot of names here that that I'm happy that I never have to see playing against <laughs> the Gators again. So, well, you know, and again, the uh, Red Bank Valley now awaits the winner of tomorrow night's District 10 Class 1A Championship game. Uh, that game will take place in Meadville, 7 p.m. kickoff. Slated for Lakeview and Cambridge Springs, our Andy Close will be there providing full coverage. Uh, no broadcast tomorrow, but uh, Andy will be there on the sidelines uh, and have a uh, full story up for us on the YDL Sports Network uh, just as soon as that game is over tomorrow night. And uh, it, again, should be an interesting matchup uh, depending on which of those teams comes away with a win. You know, like I mentioned at the, at the half, Cambridge Springs is very, very similar uh, to Port Allegheny in style and structure, uh, the kind of game that they want to play is very, very similar to the kind of game that Port Allegheny plays. They want to run the football at you. But I'll tell you what, I was uh, I was in Titusville, and Cambridge Springs found themselves down uh, big in the fourth quarter, had to score twice. They were down 12, had to score twice, uh, and did so, scored the game-winning touchdown with 26 seconds to go uh, to – come from behind and defeat Eisenhower 22 to 20 a week ago in the semifinals. So again, it's very much like, like Port Allegheny. They like to run and run and run and run some more, but I think they're just a little bit ahead of the Gators in the passing game. Uh, just in the way that uh, uh, Morgan Appleby is able to spread the ball as some of those receivers there. And, and Lakeview is very similar to Red Bank Valley has a lot of speed and skill and athleticism in those skill positions, especially on the outside. Uh, could be a fantastic matchup between the Bulldogs and the Sailors if they happen to win tomorrow night. Yeah, that'll be an interesting matchup. Like you said, if they go against Lakeview, it's, you know, similar styles. It, you know, it's going to be an, an air show, you know, throwing, you know, back and forth. Um, but Red Bank Valley's shown that they can handle the run game. Uh, that, that was obviously Port Allegheny's strength. So, you know, Cambridge Springs, if they win Red Bank Valley, you know, they might not be as big, but, man, they've got some athletes that can run around the field and make plays. All right, with that, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more of the Tap and Pay Plus, a post-game show here on the YDL Sports Network.
With a beautiful selection and amazing customer service, A Stitch in Time Custom Embroidery has quality merchandise that can have almost anything made to fit your needs. Stop by at 44 North Main Street in Port Allegheny, like us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash A Stitch in Time Custom Embroidery, or give us a call today at 814-642-1172. Are you suffering from back pain, headaches, sciatica? Did you know that a healthy nervous system leads to a healthy body? Find out more from Dr. Andrew Young at Port Allegheny Chiropractic and Olean Family Chiropractic. A District 9 lifer, born and raised in Clearfield and now calling Port Allegheny home, Dr. Young has over 20 years of experience. And Port Allegheny Chiropractic and Olean Family Chiropractic have a mission to provide their patients the best results in the shortest time, whatever their health goals are. Find out more at PortAlleghenyChiropractic.com and OleanChiropractic.com. Chiropractic care and good health go hand in hand. Carrie Hover, financial advisor of Cades Margolis, for all your retirement planning needs. Contact Carrie at 814-558-1699 or send him an email at khawver at the number 4 kmc.com. Moe's Bar and Grill in Port Allegheny. One of our customers called our offerings the best gourmet bar food you'll ever have. That pretty much sums us up. Stop in and see us at 68 West Mill Street, Port Allegheny, or give us a call at 814-642-7999. That's 814-642-7999. Moe's Bar and Grill. Located at 500 Broad Street, Red Bank Chevrolet is proud to be your new Bethlehem auto dealer, offering a wide variety of new cars and trucks, as well as certified used vehicles. We also welcome our Brookville, Pittsburgh, Catanning, and Oil City customers, and are committed to placing the keys of the right vehicle in your hands. What are you waiting for? Stop by and see us today, or give us a call at 814-275-2410. And welcome back to the Tap and Pay Plus post game show. Tap and Pay Plus is fundraising made easier and more funds and less time with nothing to sell, hand out, or collect. Find out more at tapandpayplus.com. That's tap the letter N, payplus.com. I'm going to take a quick look at our out of town scoreboard brought to you by Pizza Hut. Order online at pizzahut.com where no one out pizzas the hut. Class 2A sub regional in the fourth quarter. Westinghouse has pulled away a bit from Central Clarion. They lead 40 to 23 in the Class 3A sub regional. Central Martinsburg leads Clearfield 28-25. That game also in the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter of the Class 3A championship over in District 10, Hickory leads Sharon 14-6. And in a Class 4A sub-regional, this game final, Juniata 21, Meadville 7. Congratulations to the Bulldogs on a great season. And in a Class 4, 6A, excuse me, sub-regional, McDowell 44, State College 20, that game in the fourth quarter. Uh, because of the way our camera's set up, we're going to up, uh, upload our Cole Orthodontic Associates player interview after the fact. Stay tuned to the YDL Sports Network YouTube channel for that. But our Allegheny Grill of Foxburg players of the game, Red Bank Valley's Jackson Huffman and Ashton Kale combined for a whole lot of yards and a whole lot of touchdowns. Yes, they did. Um, and those two earned it. I mean, trying to pick between those two, man, I mean, they, they both had an excellent game. Uh, as a Gator fan, I tip my hat to them. And, and we're going to be rooting them on, whether it's against uh, Lakeview or Cambridge Springs. All right, so that will just about do it for us here from Frank Berry Shetty Field in Brockway. I want to say a special thank you to Brockway ADP Greco. have been a great host for us tonight, as always, and all season long uh, here in Brockway. Thank you very much. Thank all of you for tuning in. Again, special thanks to Dan Buck, our cameraman tonight did a great job even uh, doing some repairs on the fly with uh, with the cable there. So appreciate uh, all that great work. And, uh, Kerry, thanks for uh, coming along the last couple of weeks with us here on the YDL Sports Network. For Kerry Hover, this is Brian Hagberg saying thank you so much for watching. And good night from Brockway. <laughs>